Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy. Oop. <laughs> Let me fix my mic. There we go. Ah, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Prince Charming. We are back with some more live Darman reactions. I guess you can consider this like a Christmas themed since like 90% of the videos we're going to be watching are Christmas themed. It is December 22nd. Don't know why I had to look at the day. Like, I don't know Christmas is on Sunday. Anyways. December 22nd, I thought it would be appropriate to do a little Darman Christmas live stream. Let's see what all these kids got for Christmas. Let's see what gifts they got or if they got coal for being bad. A lot of you kids were bad this year. If, if Santa was real, he would give most of y'all coal. Over here, subscribing to OnlyFans. Like, you don't think that deserves coal? Come on. Come on. Come on. You know who I'm talking to. Using your mom's credit card. Telling her you don't know where that purchase came from. Stop lying. Okay, let's get to it. This one is called... Kid is left home alone on Christmas. What happens is shocking. And it's this badass little kid. You already know what we're about to see is going to be indeed shocking. It's this badass little kid. What's his name? Jaden? Jalen? Something like that? You know, if their kid has a J in their name, it is a badass little kid. All right, let's get it. Right. Yes, I do. I have the plane tickets. I have the IDs. I have the itinerary. I think we're all set. Yeah? yeah? Jay, are you going to be okay? Jay. Where did you His name is Jay, you of course. You're banned from using the iPad after that last report card. No, but mom, no, 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 please, please. Come to the high school, dad, no. Now don't but mom me. If you put as much effort into your grades as you did those video games, then maybe we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm. What if I have to get a hold of you. Y'all ain't trying to hear that though. That's why we have a house phone. Now, you don't know how to use a house phone? The babysitter's almost here. That's such an older generation thing. Yes. Why do I even need a Cause you are a badass little kid! You aren't you aren't a little kid no more, but you still badass as hell. I'm gonna have three babysitters for his ass. Oh my gosh. I can take care of myself. You are not old enough to stay home. This man's name is Mr. Two Inches. And even if you were you proud about that? break-ins in the neighborhood recently. What? Yes, someone tried to run for Miss Crawford's house the other day. Really? Yeah. Damn, they robbing people Thank out here, guys. Stay I safe. Promise me that you will be good. Why that dad look like he's gonna go fight vampires? No, food, no eating on my couch and no. Oh, Blade looking at stance. Like he ready to slay some vampires, alright. Pranks. I don't want to get a call like the last time, okay? He didn't hear the no pranks part. I don't believe Becky Saran wrapped the toilet seat herself. Her name's Becky. Don't believe a word she says. Serious. I used to know a girl named Becky. Have a way of coming back to you. Give me that Becky. You need to stop scaring off the babysitters. I had to find this one on the neighborhood app. Right. And no, I, didn't I didn't let come her to play know that you have an art project due. So instead of you watching anime, no, 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 no. your week. Wh which anime was he watching? Let's see. Help you with that. I'm gonna miss my episode. Wh wh which episodes? It's a very important question. If you're watching Spy Family, you can miss that. <laughs> But if you're watching Chainsaw Man, I understand, bro. Hi. Okay. Oh gosh, you got a little cute little, little babysitter. <laughs> Any you must be Jay. Your mom told me all about you. Her voice phone. already, bro. <laughs> and you well, must be Jay. Both of you, <laughs> there is no opening the door for strangers. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's been someone casing the houses in the neighborhood, pretending to be a mailman, salesman. Something. Yeah, something like Let that. Let me find out she's the robber. <laughs> This is, go, this is gonna be an inside job. <laughs> some people. It's crazy, but don't worry, I'll keep an eye out. It's her boyfriend, probably. Is that my... oh, I, can I just I... get a sinister vibe from her. Okay, great, wonderful. Uh, like if this was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we'll definitely see the you know letters coming out from her. <laughs> I love you. Okay, good. All right, you can text me if you need. All right, Jay, you got a art project to do, bro. Her demeanor is finna change as soon as that door closed. You brat! <laughs> Look at her! Already! It's her house now! What do you want to like, do? He's like this girl. <laughs> oh, he put a whoopee cushion. Okay. Okay. He ain't gonna back down. I like it. Strike one. Oh, you wanna play it like that, huh? Oh, you want to play like that, huh? Listen, you little dweeb. Your mom told me all about you yeah. and your little shit. She calls you a dweeb. You going to take that? It's not going to fly. So, I recommend you get started on your little art project, okay? 
Or... Or what? Or what, right? It's my house. Or else no TV for the rest of the night. Your choice. Man, I never, well, technically I did have a babysitter growing up, but it was only for like one time because she, she locked us out. She kicked us. She told us to go in the backyard, me and all my siblings. She told us to go to the backyard and then she going to lock the, the, the back door. So we couldn't get back inside. So we were out there for a good portion of the night because she didn't want to deal with us. That was the first and last time we had a babysitter. So I don't know about y'all, but ain't no babysitter finna come in my house and tell me what I can and can't do. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be respect disrespectful to her. I'm not gonna make her life a living hell. I am, however, not gonna let her run and walk over me, bro. Like, how old is Jay? Probably 14, 13. He still needs a babysitter because he's a badass little kid, but ain't no babysitter in this world gonna talk to me like that with her feet up on my, on my dinner table, on my coffee table. Dinner table with the hell prince? All right, let's get back to it. That's exactly what I thought. Now, I'm gonna go call my boyfriend. The robber. you pull one more prank on me, I'm gonna regret it. Nah, you can't do that when she leaves, bro. My Scary as hell. You gotta do that in her face. This place. She has Chanel's. Yeah, she's, Louis, she's part of the robbing Gucci. team. It's perfect. I have to send you a photo. Does she have a new wig? Hold on. You should one more prank on me. <laughs> she put on a new wig just to raw people? <laughs> okay. Okay, Nicki Minaj. Oh my gosh. You should see this place. She has Chanel's, Louis. She got it all. No, her she got a man who treat her right. What is your boyfriend getting you other than Charges. Where are you? Oh no, that's just a kid. Yeah, the parents left this morning. I don't know. They'll be back around like Monday uh, or something. What are you doing in my mom's clothes? Wearing her wigs? Nothing. What do you want? I need you to get the <laughs> garage for my project. My mom said you would help me with it. <sighs> Fine. I'll call you back later. Put this back and let's go. She put on a black woman's wig. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Y you don't treat your mom's wig like that. You know how much money they spent on them wigs? Okay. Mom even got a blonde wig whenever she feeling like, <laughs> she feeling like a Caucasian. <laughs> Quiet. I need your help. Figure it out yourself. Her, her shoes promise, all over know. the coffee table. You know what? Fine. If I can't do my project, I guess I just have to find something else to occupy myself. Oh, maybe I'll take Draco for a walk. Draco? Draco. You got a gun? Oh, okay, no. a snake. <laughs> the last time I did, I lost him for a week and he ended up trying to strangle my dad in his sleep. I'm I don't believe sorry. this. What? Oh, don't worry. He's just the snake. I mean, Jay is a known liar. I don't believe this. Oh my gosh. Fine. I'll help you. What do you need? Alrighty. I need to trace your head onto this poster. He said he need your dome. I okay. Getting a big tip. Uh, he he said he, he he said he need your head. He'll give you a big tip. All right. Let me relax. Relax. Relax, Prince. <sighs> Let's see here. I would not trust Jay to trace my head, bro. Ain't no way in hell. Even tracing. What are you making? He's making muck the Pokemon. Oh. The hell is that? Uh oh, what? I think your hair might have accidentally got stuck to something. Oh, he's playing a prank. What got are it. What you talking about? Yeah, you, Wait, you don't want to do that. What the? You, you don't want to do that. Do something. Get it out. Get it out. Don't do. You're going to have to cut it, baby girl. Oh, I get it. He's going to cut the wig. Oh, no, it's not Now you better cut a chunk. Way more than that. You gotta make her cry. Okay. What did you do? You had to do something. That's it. I'm done. No, you can't leave. Okay. At first, I was like, this babysitter evil, bro. Like she's gonna deserve everything that's coming to her. But now that I watch it, bro, Jay is the evil one. He is the sinister one. He is the devious one. 
You better run for your life, girl, before Jay takes over your mind. You are a monster. I'm leaving. Hell yeah. Save yourself, girl. It is not worth it. It is not worth the $12 an hour you are getting, bruh. I will never be a babysitter. Ain't no child in this world. Sweetheart. Everything's gonna be fine. Friends don't babysit. If something was wrong, the sitter would call, right? I know. Okay. And I know, but it, just maybe I should If something was wrong, the sitter would call. You know what a handful The sitter is a teenage girl. It's just the She'll talk to Twitter before she talks to y'all. Relax, enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's our anniversary trip after all, right? huh? <laughs> You're right. All right. You're right. Okay. okay. And I'm sure things are great. Just great. All right. And I'll put my phone on. And you see how you let Jay infect your mind? This is your honeymoon. This is your time, girl. Enjoy yeah. it. Got it. Well, you don't have kids, man. Yeah. She can't even enjoy herself without her thinking the kids finna set the house on a blaze. Yeah, get out of there with your puffer jacket, fifty. <laughs> many men, many, 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 many. <laughs> uh, Worked like a charm. So now you're finna be home alone for. Okay, this kind of dope. Hey, look, 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 look. I don't know about y'all, but it's not as cool anymore because I'm a grown man. You know, I already live by myself. But whenever your parents were away, like wherever they were, and you actually had the house to yourself, oh my goodness, that was like some of the best times ever. You could eat whatever, dress however, watch whatever, at whatever volume you wanted. It was your house. So much adventures to, 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 to embark on. I'm over here stuttering. Let me read these donos real quick. Finish, thanks so much for that message. You said, ho, 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 ready for Christmas? I am ready for Christmas. I'm ready to receive some ho, ho, ho's. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Sonic, cool. Thank you for that dono. What's up, Prince? What's up, Sonic? Tran the goat. Thank you for that dono. What's up, Prince? What's up, Tran? McDonald's employee gave me a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> you sure you don't need it more than me? I mean, you are a McDonald's employee, bro. I don't want to take your rent money. I'm sorry. That wasn't, that wasn't nice. All right. And Red Dragon Empress, thank you so much for that message. Has anyone played Cult of the Lamb? Just hearing the name of whatever that is, that game, I don't want to play it. Cult of the Lamb? Sounds like I'm going to summon Lucifer in my house if I play that game. All right. All right, now my audio isn't working. There we go. Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Enjoy it while you can, bro. We all know it's going to come to a, a halt. It's going to come to a halt. Just like mentioning uh, the wrong girl's name in bed. This is gonna come to a halt. Um, who's Christine? It's a girl who's better than you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I actually got away with it once. Just once though. I'll tell you the story later. I don't know how I got away with it. Maybe she... God was on my side that day. This neighborhood is sweet. Okay, so these are the robbers. Okay. Water features. I could get used to this. They oh, just look like robbers. That's Shane Dawson. Well, there's no cars in the driveway. Shane, I thought you were canceled. Like home. Darman gave you a job. Way to find out. All right, Shane. Let's find out. This messy ass kid, bro. You eating like a damn toddler, bro. Ooh. No, not the poo. I mean the girl. Mmm. Y'all telling me she isn't bad? Y'all bugging. Y'all bugging. Y'all keep sending me her, her IG as well. I'm not going to follow this woman. I don't know her. <laughs> These are just jokes, guys. Stop sending me her IG. I've seen it a million times. All right, Jay, don't open the door for strangers. But you know, whatever his oh mom my, says, he's gonna uh, do the opposite. Just the street and got your mail by mistake. I've never seen either of you guys. Thank you, Jay. Oh, Use your uh, thinking you cap. Doors down. You might have seen our grandma, uh, the old lady with the the rollers in her hair. <laughs> they look like they fiending for some for some meth. For the break. Uh, do you mind opening the door? I'm not supposed to open it for strangers. There you go, bro. Well, we're neighbors, so we're not really strangers, are we? <laughs> I've never seen you, so yes, you are a stranger. Come on, Jay. Oh, Jay, you idiot. See, we're not so bad. So, uh, your parents around? They're asking way too much now. to be living with your grandma. Oh, harsh. 
My skincare routine is flawless, okay? So they say this is Home Alone 4? Are your parents <laughs> home or not? Because uh, we have things to do, so... This Home Alone in the hood. I want to see Jay do some black stuff yeah, to them. In the kitchen, you know? Can't walk away from the stove. If like, you give like fry them with some chick leftover chicken grease? Uh, if that's all. <laughs> Okay, Jay's a little smart. Okay. Acting like his parents are home. Are you buying this? I don't trust that shit for one second. Come on. Okay, you Disney Channel villain. Relax. I don't trust that guy for one second. <laughs> There's other houses to hit a lick on, bruh. What you gonna do, Jay? Hey, your dad. What you cooking? Wow, they're still watching him. Okay. The kids love it. No yeah. There. Yeah, I can tell by the so voices the too. I say we play it safe and come back later tonight. Y'all said Jay need to get the Glock. You think Jay got the Glock? He got Draco. He need to get Draco. <laughs> Oh, fumbling ass. Hey, what are you doing? Look at this Disney Channel ass villains, bro. <laughs> These are some rookie villains. They <laughs> oh my gosh. Some rookies. phone no ipad i mean what the heck is a kid supposed to do draco i mean i would say it but i'll get demonetized don't act like you weren't doing it as a, a younger male Are you thinking what i'm thinking <laughs> i don't know how to tell which snakes are poisonous but safest rule of thought they're all poisonous avoid all of them glue trap oh he got the icky sticky uh Hit them with the sticky, uh, uh. This Home Alone ass <laughs> inventions, bro. None of this will stop a real robber. If a robber was really about his bag, hey, that, this ain't even gonna stop him, bro. If you really about your bag, this is not gonna stop you. I think I'll be a pretty decent robber. I wouldn't leave witnesses. I'll tell you that much. Damn, that sounded a little evil, Prince. <laughs> This man's going to war! Golly! It's supposed to be Christopher Columbus? <laughs> I don't know who he was trying to be, bro. I don't understand the costume. You think he's still in there? Who cares? They got shysty masks? That's not shysty, that's a ski mask. You ready? It's oh my gosh, bruh! Your mask was made from the same person who made the masks for the KKK oh, and Django. Locked. The kids making it easy for us. Wait, what? Big ass hole. What if the kid booby trapped it? <laughs> oh, come on, no kid would ever actually do that. That's Hollywood, fantasy, fiction. Um, Fine. If you're so worried, I'll take the front. You go into the back. I'll always take the back any day. Booby chapped. <laughs> As if. What, Prince? Ugh! Oh, I thought that was. I thought that was menstruation. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't think that. You see, I've never got hit by a paintball gun before. I don't know if it hurts. Damn, headshot? Ooh. Ooh, with environmental damage. Okay. Okay. He's trying to fill up his limit break bar. We finna see a J limit break. <laughs> Damn it, Jay. You're supposed to clean up after you do it, bro. Don't just leave the evidence there. I swear, man, you're so lazy after they finish. 
already got the icky sticky. Uh. <laughs> oh, You're not gonna convince me Elmore's glue is this sticky, bro. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on the ah! cabin crew, I'd like ah! to give you a welcome ah! to ah! Oakland. You may now turn on your electronic devices. <laughs> Hey, do y'all actually turn on airplane mode whenever you get on a plane? Because I don't. If I'm gonna be the cause of the plane crash, so be it. But I gotta get I gotta get these tweets off. She has such a typical oh, mom so case. See, I told you everything was gonna be just fine. What? No, no, you don't get it. We need to be on the next flight back to Los. Oh my gosh, this is this is this is just free. Free child protection, child protection, uh, child prevention, <laughs> free birth control, bro. They have to cancel their entire flight, their entire honeymoon. I bet you he was trying to get in the mom cheeks so bad, bro. So bad. He was like, oh, this is my time. He, he brought the aftershave. He brought the, uh, he had everything prepared, bro. He was finally going to get to beat some cheeks only for his bastard ass son to go and ruin the, just ruin the day, man. Can't leave these kids home alone with a babysitter no more. What does the world come to? Hmm. I thought you iPad kids are supposed to be ch chill and tame. <laughs> tame like an animal. No, I don't Real want talk. To hold. I've already been put on a. They gonna still put you on hold, bro. No matter how much you yell. I worked in customer I service. We be laughing when we put y'all on hold. <laughs> I'm sure everything's okay. Jay's a responsible kid. Okay. Ah! Sure okay. Look he's at this. Kid. Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe not that, but he's a smart kid. Ah! On the next plane out of here and home in no time. I know. I know. I just wish I could make sure. Just okay. I could call police. Yeah, I can. I can. Jay, look what you're doing to your parents, bro. He's, he's only been home alone for a couple of hours. And that's all it takes. Why don't you call Miss Crawford next door? And have her look in on it. Ms. Crawford ain't yes, gonna do that's that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Hey, yes. Yes, this is he. Yes, that's us. Okay. Yes. All right. Miss Crawford, let's see. Just why don't be nice. Can we help you? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, it's this woman. Oh, she can't I'm see, bro. Sorry. You must be the sitters. Yeah. Jay's mother just called and wanted me to come by and check on him the kid oh, he's great miss <laughs> crawford this looks normal to you I just talked to men uh, sleeping like a baby this looks normal to you i hope he hasn't been causing you too much trouble he he's known to be a bit of a rascal <laughs> two grown ass men <laughs> he's uh... a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, have we met? You look really familiar. I don't think so. She met him on the, the that Sugar Baby time. website. You know, I guess I just have one of those faces, you know. Old um, ladies, they love sugar right. babies, bro. Uh, you boys have a good night. Then. All you cougars, hit me up. Your boy need a, your, your boy need Good. to be spoiled. Not safe now. not grandmas though, bro. There's only so much I can do. Fifty is my cutoff. Oh gosh. Yo, C spine is clear now. Get up, you So is he like fighting for democracy? Is that what the outfit's about? I don't get it. <laughs> Why did you dress up like that? This man's got some cream on his chin and his cheek, bro. That's not a good look, bro. Okay, so he made the floor slippery. It's working. He's someone like me. I'll just, I'll use that to my advantage. I'm gonna become Shadow the Hedgehog. Just slide everywhere. This is such a Disney villain moment. Snake! Oh, some something definitely entered in somewhere else. I Man, giving him the good strokes. 
The Wait. different strokes. Y'all know that TV show? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to go first? Because I said so. So that's the beta robber. The one on the left is the alpha male. Fight. The one on the right is the rookie rookie. Look at him. He is saved at the end of the day. So, such incompetent robbers, bro. Crack his ass! Nah! Nah, the, the burglar got you, bro. He said that to your face in your house after he was done terrorizing your kid. I'm sure the cops would allow you to crack this idiot. Give him a good one in the jaw, bro. I'm sure they'll look the other way. Like, come on. Oh, the meat! Beep, 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 beep. Let's beep. go, move it. Guys, you know, your actions always have a way of coming back to you. That's right. What about you, Jay? Wait, how did you guys... This was your comeuppance. For getting your babysitter was... fired. When I came to check on you... Oh, she knew! I knew I recognized them. They tried to break into my house before. Okay. But they ran away when they realized I was home. Okay, Miss Crawford with the save. Jay was home alone. Yeah. We're looking inside one of their phones. It turns out they had someone on the inside. I don't know why he just looks like he beats call oh yes. women. <laughs> We're still trying to track this person down. Like I don't know why. Just look at him. He just looks like he beat women. <laughs> it's not funny to say, but he gives me that Tyler Perry, uh, you know, dark skinned villain of the movie vibe. <laughs> turns out they had someone on the Woman, inside. where's my dinner? <laughs> We're still trying to track this person down. If you have any contact with her, let us know. Actually, I have an idea. Oh, she was a criminal as well? There's one last trap. So everybody is out here being criminals. I guess it's that time of year. Jennifer. You know, everybody needs gifts and presents. Thank you so much for coming. Everybody need to eat. You know, I'm sorry about what happened with Jay. Now they're doing sting My operations? Terrible. Okay. I'm glad you reached out. It means a lot. Of course. And like I said on the phone, I want to give you a little something extra for all your trouble. Mm -hmm. So just give me a minute. I'm going to grab my checkbook from the kitchen, okay? Yeah. A big tip makes everything better. A checkbook? Yeah. You can't just cash at me? Who uses checks anymore? I would have called her like, oh, grandma ass. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, the baby boomer ass. A couple extra hundred dollar bills for all the pranks you pulled. Can't sell me. Bet you didn't plan on that, huh? Not at first. What are you smiling at? Get on the ground now. Oh, he looked like he wanted to sock her ass. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this man was restraining himself. <laughs> I know he wanted to hit her with a smooth left hook as soon as he walked in, but he's like, you know what? No, I already have enough complaints about me. <laughs> Hands over your head. Okay. Do you think this is a new game? You know you've been applying to babysitter jobs. He said, okay. Let's see if the coast is clear. You're under arrest for robbery, fraud, and conspiracy. What did you do, you little rat? Right there, remain silent. Ah! Ain't it. nobody gonna mess with Let's my go. baby. Oh! Mm. Jay making a lot of enemies. Let's Someone gonna come back for revenge. Going was a great <laughs> idea. You ever thought about joining the force? Boy. Hey, now that's an idea. Boy. You can use your creativity for good instead of evil. Mm. I'm okay. He was supposed to, to home security. He just wants to play Fortnite. <laughs> Fair enough. And watch anime. You guys updated on the case. Like every other teenager Thank would. Thank you, officer. Right. See ya. <sighs> Glad that's over with. Yeah, you're telling me. Now we can find We'll be cushion. That was a wet ass fart. Jay. Hold on, let me get a better <laughs> sniff. I'm sorry. That's the last break, I swear. <sighs> Chocolate stain on the couch? Do you have eggnog? 
Smell a bit, a bit of egg in that. Gotta go. Jay. All right. Jay, get back here. I'm serious. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Let me chill. Let me chill. All right. That was Kid is Left Home Alone on Christmas. What happens is shocking. So good for you, Jay, for defending yourself. Um, those were just the most incompetent robbers ever. If that was a real robber really trying to rob your house, Jay, you would have been minced me. You would have been done for. Capiche, capiche. All right. Sonic is cool. Thank you so much for that dono. He says, sussy prince. What does sussy even mean? Because in my head, I think it means suspicious. Joel the Go, thank you for, my, for that dono. He said, yo, Prince, can you shout out my cousin Thomas? What's good, Thomas? What's good, Tommy boy? How you doing, Thomas? Hope you have a great Christmas. Black Neon, thank you so much for being a member for two months. He said, hey, Prince, can you hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year? Can't wait to see the videos you react to and the games you play in 2023. Oh, that was such a thoughtful message, bro. Appreciate you so much, Black Neon. Love you, bro. Um, then he also said, can you react to murder drones? I've been getting a lot of people asking for that. So I may just have to do that. Foxy said, how's everyone doing? I'm doing great. How are y'all doing? Make sure y'all answer Foxy's question. He wants to know how y'all are all doing. B the Bandit, thanks so much for that dono. Prince, you should play Cuphead again. Are you essentially saying, Prince, I want you to rage out on live stream again? Because that's all that's going to happen. I can't finish the game, bro. It's too rage inducing. I don't know how people finish it. Like, I'm a gamer, but I'm not that much of a gamer. <laughs> Crown YT said, they all must be from Ohio. I don't get that Ohio joke, bro. It's so, it's so run through, bro. It's more run through than your mom. Oh, sorry. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. That was a joke. I didn't mean to come at you like that. Oh my gosh. Why am I so mean? I apologize. That was just a joke. I was just kidding, bro. I am. <laughs> All right, 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 <laughs> This one is called Kids Gifts Stolen on Christmas. What happens next is shocking. So I guess they're going to have a Grinch who comes in and steals all the Christmas gifts. How miserable can you be? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Now tell me, what do you want for Christmas this I year? I really want an iPhone 14. You, need, you better wish for a split between your eyebrows. Damn, McDonald's logo looking ass kid, bro. Your parents let you get on camera like that? Nah, man. There's there's a lot of things I don't make fun of when it comes to appearance, but you can change this. All it takes is and you're good. No, 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 no. This is a sweet little kid, bro. Let me not get get on him like that. But like, damn, you need to ask Santa for a for a space between your eyebrows. Ooh, another iPhone 14, guys. How do kids need an iPhone 14 oh. for, bro? Well, uh, there appears to be a shortage on iPhone 14. This man has one eyebrow. But I can get you something that you're really going to like that you can take home today. Now, nah, this kid got one big ass mustache on his forehead. <laughs> How does that sound? Amazing. <laughs> Why am I so mean? All right, here you are. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I like his little Grinch thing. Oh, thank you. That was pretty good. Oh, this cookie is hard as a rock. All right, pretty good impression. I like it. What happened to the freshly baked ones we usually get? And the milk? You didn't hear? Budget cuts. Budget cuts. Ah! Next was my hours. Next <laughs> was the milk and fresh. They can't even afford cookies and milk. How broke is this mall? It's empty. Oh. Uh, that's odd. This has never happened before. It must be some kind of mistake. Budget cuts. This one. They don't even have gifts anymore. There you are, little guy. Sorry That's empty as well. That. Um, this one's empty too. I want my present. It would appear that the elves. Damn! Damn! Y'all saw how quick de demanding he got? I want my presents! You stupid old man! Like, bro, you do realize this ain't Santa, right? <laughs> that the elves are playing a trick on Santa. I don't understand. Why don't you go over there with your mom? Let's nah, bro. Santa's workshop. I'll be right back. He has one big old underscore on his forehead. Oh no, that's not good. 
that's not good. No. no. Do we know who wrapped these presents? Oh. Yes, yes I do. Uh, it was Grant. He was doing a really good job with it too. And Grant. <sighs> Maybe he stole the gifts. Uh, oh no, right, what? Oh, okay. He stole the present. No, I did not. Okay, yeah, you did. Okay. Now I don't know who stole them. The Grinch that stole Christmas. It says right here. On I think it may be the reindeer. It's not real. Nothing's real. Uh huh. Now nah, he's doing that character justice. I like it. I like it. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Is it true? Nah. Hey, look at me. If she grabbed my face like that, <laughs> we may just have to make a baby, yo. Like, what she grab my face like that? I'm looking in my eyes for. I know you want me. Oh, you want me? She's Cindy Lou Who or whoever. What? Which one was the girl who liked the Grinch in the movie? Like who actually liked the Grinch? Who wanted to get with the Grinch? That's a nasty ass hoe, bro. Can you imagine your wife leaving you for a green goblin looking monster? No, nah, like really picture it. Really, really understand this. Like the Grinch had a baddie. It was the mayor's. It was the mayor's wife too. To add insult to injury. The Grinch bagged the mayor's wife, and she was actually a baddie, right? Can you imagine your wife leaving you for a green pube? Really? That's probably worse than the B movie. Now, the B movie was worse, bro. His girl folded for an actual B. Like, he left his girl in the room with a B, and she folded. Nah, man. Ah! <laughs> They said Martha May Hoover. Was that her name? <laughs> Is it true? What? No. No. I would never steal the gifts. Everyone seems to think you did. I don't think he did it. You were the last one with the presents. This is probably the reindeer looking dude. No. I wasn't the last one with them. You see. Ah, oh, here we go. How's it going, Grant? It was this guy. Almost done. Hey, uh, would you mind finishing up this last present? I really gotta use the restroom, and oh. Deb will be here any second to pick everything up. Yeah, no, I totally understand. I got you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you! This Negro touched me! Gross! <laughs> I totally understand. I got you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate <laughs> you! You think he gonna turn black now? So you see, Roger was the last one there. He must have stolen them. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Just don't trust anyone named that Roger. Because sure clearly your parents didn't like you. So it was you. Uh, no, I don't know how that got uh, there. The plastic fastener is clearly cut. And we always leave these on the stuff. So how does that make it, make it him? I, swear, Deborah, I, I would never take my office now. How does just having a plastic cut it's gonna be fine. mean he's the culprit? That this job means everything to me. Okay, I would never do anything to jeopardize it. You know how long I've worked with you. This man dropped yeah, the character. Now, you know, or now you know he's serious. Company policy. I'm sorry, Grant, but I have to let you go. What kind of circumstantial evidence is it this? It wasn't me. I'm telling you. You really need to look into Roger, okay? I bet it was him. Roger the reindeer? Do you have any proof? <sighs> no, but... He was the last one seen with the gifts. Okay, unless you can provide me with some... Concrete objective. Okay, so he needs concrete evidence for Roger the reindeer, but she don't need concrete evidence for him. You know, she she can work off of circumstantial when it comes to him, but when it comes to Roger, oh, you better have concrete. Call him red-handed on videotape. Him admitting it was him. Ain't that crazy? That's a little crazy, right? Or is that just me? That's just me. Am I yelling in your ears? I'm sorry. <laughs> she says she needs concrete evidence. I'm gonna show her my brick. Take that for concrete. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't keep you here. That's crazy. All right. I understand. Hey, that's crazy, right? One more thing. Return the suit. You have 24 hours to tell us where the toys are. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to call the police. Treating him even more like a criminal. And like he has a toy's hostage. Like they have to pay a ransom to get it back. Hey, don't stress. I'm sure you'll find another great job. Not from being in a jail cell. 
I need to find out who did it ASAP or I'm screwed. You're not a real elf? Back up! Yeah! What the hell? Like, she can't enjoy a smoothie without. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Nah, <laughs> this man got a signature on his head, bro. <laughs> I can't believe your parents. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so you gonna get up in her in her face, her personal space, her her personal aria, and then you gonna cry if you do not back up. Like, what, what was that video where it's like, back up, you in my space, man, back up. <laughs> That's what this kid need to do. Kids be getting all up in your face, like, bro, go play Fortnite on your iPad or something. Is there even Fortnite on iPad? Probably. Fortnite's everywhere. You're not a real elf? Like, boy? Really? And he's screaming loud as hell. Did you see that? What? Roger? Why does he get that big duffel bag? Yeah, Roger looked like he up to something. I'm sure it's just his change of clothes or something. Or it's the toys. Let's go find out. Now he's really taking this Grinch role seriously. He said just because the costume's off doesn't mean the character's off. Y'all think he got Riz like that? You think girls like that? <laughs> I mean, she followed him. You must have some sort of Riz. This impression is decent. I'm not gonna lie. Like I couldn't do a Grinch thing. Daddy, bro, we the same age. You have a whole six year old. Oh my gosh. Golly, man. We the same age. Yeah, and it gets worse. I was gonna ask Deborah. My old. An extra squishable from Jasmine, but now that they're gone, I don't have anything to give her. Oh, and what do you suggest? Look at this. Grant made me really upset, and so I got apple juice all over the reindeer outfit. And I don't know. I, just, I want it to be fresh, so I'm in character. Can you wash it for me? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> so he really didn't do it. Roger. Wow. If you just listen to me, we could have saved all this time. I don't know who it could be then. A man listening to a woman. Because that happens, right? Who is thinking? <laughs> oh. That's the funny thing about men, bro. Um. Unless we think the idea came from our own brain, we ain't listening. Have you solved the case yet? No, sadly no. Oh. And I have some more bad news. We're gonna have to cut your iris next week. I'm sure to think her ass did it. She seemed like the common denominator in all this. Sorry, Raj. It's it's the budget cuts. She keeps talking about budget cuts. Budget cuts are going to her bank account. I understand. That's that's fair. That's it. Budget cuts. Think about it. First, the milk and cookies. Mm -hmm. Then, Roger's hours. Okay. Deborah must have stole the presents to cut the costs. But if it was her, why would she frame you? That is true. Know. Why would she frame you? I've been here the longest. Of everyone. Without saying the obvious, because, you know, Darman don't think that way. Come to think of it, she was technically the last one with the presents. Like, honestly, bro, I would think it would be stupid to blame the black employee. Like, that would just be idiotic. Because the first thing people are going to think of is, oh, well, you probably don't like black people. Like, if it was me and if I was white, I would blame it on a white person because you're not, people aren't really going to think twice about that. If you blame it on a black person, people are going to be like, well, what if they didn't really steal it? Maybe you're just being racist, this and that. Maybe they did steal it. Who knows? But, like, you, you can't control what people think. That's what people are going to think. So... You know, I would have blamed it on a white person if I was white. You know, you got you gotta you gotta make your crime seem uh, realistic and not racially motivated. That's the first thing they're gonna think, bro. But then she took that from Roger after I left to the bathroom. It's just honestly hard to believe, you know. But I guess it's possible. I just can't believe it. I've worked here for years. She knows my family. If it is her. I just can't believe she'd do this to me. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes it's the people closest to you when you hurt you the most. I just need to prove that it was. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me turn this chat box on for y'all.
make it a little smaller. And that's good enough. All right, let's get back to the video. Someone told me to turn my chat box on. I know what they say. Sometimes it's the people closest to you who hurt you the most. I just need to prove that it was her. So I can keep from going to jail. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Can you imagine, like, that's how you're going to spend your Christmas? Trying to not go to jail? Wait, I've got an idea. Wait, what's your idea? He can do the I voice know. pretty good. I'm not going to lie. He is caked up with her. You'll see oh, my time. gosh. He is caked up. Hello, everybody. I bet you're wondering what we're all doing here. He is Standing super caked up, bro. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's just that. <laughs> this isn't any regular pig. This pig is very special because it can detect a liar. Okay. She never squeals, except when a dishonest person touches it. <laughs> you can't be serious, right? He's but not, but you expect us to he has something that? else oh, up I'm his sleeve. Very serious. <clears throat> the pig is never wrong. I figured this was the best way we could figure out who was dishonest. Now, I'll start. Then each of us will go and take our turn touching the pig. Bro, Santa, like... I did not steal Hold on. Presents. Like, who is Santa fooling? I figured Best way. Like, we know that's not coffee in your cup. <laughs> that's some Jack Daniels. <laughs> ah, this is bad Santa. Like, you're not tricking nobody, bro. You're not drinking coffee. Now, I'll start. Then each of us will go and take our turn. Touching the pig. Ugh. I did not steal the presents. Yeah, I don't even want to touch a pig. Ugh. Pigs are gross. You know they eat poo, right? This is ridiculous. Your dog eats poo as well. Yeah, well, what, what If you didn't know that. I did not steal the presents. Okay. Wanna go next? I did not steal the presents. Yeah, you gotta clear everybody out. The one you keep closest to you could be the the true criminal. Santa? What? Do I have to? I did not steal any presents. <laughs> now it's her turn. Your next step. Now it's Karen's turn. Why do I need to touch it? Just so we all play it fair. Man, if you don't touch that pork. No, please. Touch it! I did not steal the presents, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it didn't squeal. Whoever rented you that pig must have lied to you. Hold on. As you can see, my finger is black. Ooh. It is black. <laughs> oh, you mean like your fingertip is black? Ooh. Show us your <laughs> Why is it like, ooh? <laughs> No, I literally, man, he thought his finger was black. I was like, and then Santa was like, oh, I'm like, bro, you didn't realize that? But he means his actual fingertip is black. So, like, I guess there's ink on the pig? What? What? <laughs> well, that's weird. No, why? For what? I don't. You're right. This pig isn't a magical lie detector. I made that up. But what I Yeah, Santa definitely drinking that suit. Jack Daniels. Because I figured... The person responsible wouldn't touch it. That's pretty smart, Grant. Thanks. I saw it in a movie once. Wait, I'm kind of confused. What was the point of this? My finger is black. It is black. Show us your finger. What? <laughs> well, that's weird. No, why? For what? I don't... You're right. This pig isn't a magical lie detector. Hey. I made that up. But this man Santa entertained. He's covering in black soot. Because I figured the person responsible wouldn't touch it. Why, though? Why would they not touch That's it? Pretty smart, Grant. Thanks. I saw it in a movie once. Why would they not touch it, though? Oh. <laughs> well, it seems as if it's not me. I knew it wasn't. Because what I've come to find out is, actually, it was Deborah. <sighs> well, uh, excuse me? Oh, Ed. She's the only one who didn't want to touch it. Going on, you just couldn't handle the pressure. Good job. 
So, you decided to steal the presents and you thought no one would notice. Then, you'd frame me and fire me so you could hire someone You need more evidence than this, bro. Come on. This, this is some weak-ass evidence. the craziest idea. I agree. Ever. She's guilty, but like... But why in the world would I go Or she may be guilty, but like, come on, bro. You have nothing to hide. Show us your finger. You need more than a dirty finger. Uh, Maybe she was just in a booty hole. You don't know this. Satisfied? Mm -hmm. oh, Everybody has their kinks. Don't judge. Well, if it isn't you, then. <gasps> was it really Santa? Drunk why, Santa? Why is everybody looking at me? I don't know. Show us your finger, Santa. Come on, Sean. Okay, you want to play hard? I gotcha. Oh my gosh, you're embarrassing yourself, Roger. It was you. So he didn't touch the pig. No, it wasn't me. I, I I didn't touch the pig. That's all. Okay. Not because I stole the presents, but because I'm allergic to swine. The baconator. You're right. You're lying. <laughs> the baconator. Hey, no, no, don't call the cops. Look, I did not do it. I would never steal from a child. I mean, it's against everything I believe in. I don't think he did it either. You see? Ah, Darwin! Ah! I, I hate you, bro. My family and I, we were really poor. Damn, she gonna eat three Cheerios? A lot of nights we didn't even have- Share your sister, bro! to eat. <laughs> you only leave her three Cheerios. Well, the kids got to celebrate Christmas with their parents. We went to work with my dad. See, I never got gifts for Christmas, man. I never had that kind of childhood. Couldn't be more like other kids. Me too, bro. I kind of got robbed as a child. I always tried to be strong for my little sister. Yeah, for three Cheerios, though. The hardest part of all was every Christmas we'd wake up excited, hoping that there'd be presents under the tree. Why would you think anything changed? You literally, you literally just went to work with your dad. It killed me watching my little sister be sad and cry. Damn, your dad had y'all at 60. So you see, I could never steal from a child. <laughs> I wouldn't want that child to go through what I went through. Aww. Never having presents. Santa has a heart. <laughs> I mean, that's why I became a Santa. Aww. I mean, I guess that's a better reason to become a Santa. Sorry, Santa. Sean, I... I didn't know you went through all that. Well, if it wasn't you, then it wasn't Roger. It definitely wasn't Deborah. So who was it? Who could it be? Was it her? The children. Was, see, a lot of was it your friend? Let me see your finger. No. Why? No, let me see. Get off me? No. Get, no, get off no, me. No, I just want to see your finger. Show us your finger. You have nothing to hide. No. He... What did I tell y'all? I didn't tell y'all this, but don't trust women. You see how she went on this whole Scooby-Doo mystery adventure with him, knowing the whole entire time she was the thief? Damn, bro. He was caked up with her and everything. She was going to let him go to jail. She was going to let him get locked up. She was going to let him get locked up. And she would not even care, bro. Oh my gosh. She was just holding your face and everything. Oh, why are men such, such easy targets, bro? All it takes is a, a cute enough girl. And we melt like pudding. Pudding, ice cream, we melt like, um, what melts? <laughs> my heart when I see you. Oh, is that a little cheesy? <laughs> You can't trust these hoes! <laughs> it was you? You stole the gifts? No, no, I wouldn't She was. Get off of me! You see how she's trying to. No, I wouldn't tell you. Come on, we're besties. You know me. Why would Miss Thompson. Me? That's what they do, bro. The gifts? No, no, I wouldn't tell you. Come on, we're besties. Look at her trying to get, grab a ball on him. Like, if you don't get off of me. I down the parking lot surveillance footage to find the gifts. Oh. Wow, bro. We found the gifts in her car. Wow, she was gonna let you get locked up. Grant was right. How could you do something? She was gonna let old dude get locked up for her crime. <laughs> oh my gosh, here is the anime How laugh. I? How could you? You cut my hours first, even though I'm clearly the best performer here. What do you even do? 
I was barely making enough to cover my rent. Then get a new job. I gifts for my nieces and nephews. Fuck them. I mean, <laughs> you don't always have to get presents every year. Santa just gave you a story about how he didn't get presents. He grew up fine. I mean, he may be a mall Santa who drinks during the day, but I'll say that's a pretty decent life because most people drink during the day. <laughs> oh, being an adult, man. To me, I didn't mean to put this on you. But after everyone started assuming it was- She was going to let you take the fall. I kind of just rolled with it. Wow. I thought you were my friend. Bro, I don't think anything no more. you're right, Evie. Take her away, coppas. Sounds as the people closest to you that hurt you the most. Take her away, coppas. Trust her. No, no, don't let them take me away. Come on. No, Grant, Grant. Get off of me! No! I am not your Grant no more, bro! See you in the new season of Orange is the New Black. Everything. Oh my gosh. Looks like you got your job back. If you still want it. And since Evie's gone. I don't know about y'all, but. <laughs> Is this a lawsuit he could possibly win? Because he was just about, get, about to get fired from his job and thrown into jail simply because the manager thought he did it. She had no evidence against this man, Grant. Not a single drop of evidence. But she was prepared to fire him. Well, he already was fired. But she was, a, she was prepared to send his ass to jail. To jail. Woo! Where, where someone with, with somebody in jail whose name is, I don't know, gingerbread is going to is going to take his his gingerbread. All right. That wasn't funny. <laughs> Sometimes my jokes hit. Other times they don't. I was one of the times they did it. I don't not want your crusty ass job. And since Evie's gone, that means we don't have to cut your hours anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, can I request the milk and cookies resume? So, yeah? Not yes. a problem. Can we switch to 2% because I'm trying to go keto? And I, <laughs> I love this Santa, man. He said he's trying to go keto. Okay, it actually works. That's freaky. Hey, I mean, can you blame me, man? I mean, you're a Grinch. I was like, you did not believe deep down he was innocent. We should change that. Really, the elves you gotta look out for. Did they say you gotta look out for short people? Yeah. Well, duh, you'll trip over them. Yeah. That was mean. I'm sorry. You excited for today? <laughs> what is wrong with Listen, me? It's Christmas. They want an iPhone 14 or a tablet or a PlayStation, only to get some cheap squishy toy. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> uh, hey, Grant. What does he have to say? Roger. The Grinch who saved Christmas. Smell a bit. Freshly baked cookies, anyone? Cookies. Mind if I do. Those are not freshly baked. Why are you lying to us? What are you doing? That's some damn chalk. I had it first. No. Rudolph, beat it. Boys, a piece of love. Hmm? Come on, bring it in. You're fighting over the same cookie? Why is everybody commenting dub? I don't get it. <clears throat> All right, that was kids gifts stolen on Christmas. What happens next is shocking. I was pretty shocked because I honestly did not think it was her. I really didn't think it was his friend because like, damn, I fell for it too. What do they call it? A uh, honey pot? When they honey pot you is when they like, they get, I, I forgot what it's called, but there's a term for it. And she did it successfully, man. Cause I did not, I did not suspect her at all. Not in the slightest did I suspect her. Damn, she was ready. She was ready to let him go to jail for her crimes. And I promise you guys, I promise you, many women are like that. Don't you think it's crazy how like, whenever it comes time to make a deal, they offer a deal to the woman because they know the woman will fold quick as hell. They'll, they'll fold on you that quick, bro. <laughs> People always say they want a girl to hold them down. The girl is going to be the first one to fold on you. The first one to turn your ass in so she can secure a deal for herself. Come on. Game is game. Game is game. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and read these donations. And then we're going to get off into the very next video. 
Uh, C, thank you so much for that dono, bro. Appreciate that. Estevez Jacquez said, Hey, Prince, can you play GTA Online again one day? For sure, for sure. It's kind of shocking to me how GTA 5 is still one of the best-selling games. Still. And it released, like, what, 2013? That's almost 10 years later, guys. 10 years later. What else can they put in that game? We need GTA 6 already, but we know that's not coming until, like, 2026. Kicks, thanks so much for being a member for 21 months. Wow, that's a long time. He said, Prince Dub. You know all I do is secure dubs. That's all I do. And Super Luigi Fan, thank you so much for that dono. Stay charming, Prince. Always. It's always what I do. I always stay charming. You know, it's in my name. How else am I going to do anything but stay charming? How y'all doing today? What would y'all rate these uh, past two videos that we just watched? I think they're pretty darn good. What about you? Make sure my camera's all good. Mmm, your boy just got a haircut today. What would y'all rate this haircut? Do I gotta cut my actual hair? Is it too afro-y? Is it too too much? Too long? Let me know, let me know. I'll, I'm gonna completely ignore your um, suggestions, but I'll still like to know. Hello, Brooklyn Balboa. Is that all you got? What is going on here? We're Brooklyn Balboa. Yeah, what do you guys think this is? Oh, this Rocky palace? Balboa, okay. What do you do with boxing gloves? I'm trying to learn how to protect myself. What do you guys think this is, Caesar's Palace? What do you do with boxing gloves? I'm trying to learn how to protect myself. What you doing, boxing gloves? What do you do with boxing gloves? I'm trying to learn how to protect myself. <laughs> protect yourself from what? Veronica Payne? She's this bully at my school who's always picking on me. Veronica be beating your ass? Listen, if someone's bothering you, beating her up isn't the answer. We will just you sit down with the parents and talk problem. with them. That's how she wants to solve it. Aren't gonna protect me from left hook. Ah, uh, she right. The principal. Words aren't gonna protect you from a left hook. Yeah. Nor a right. Don't you guys know anything? If she does that, then she'll be the school snitch. I like it's that. Worse than being These are facts. I'm telling you, this generation makes things so much harder than it has to be. You got that right. I mean, being a kid was so easy. I have no idea how they're gonna survive being an adult. I feel like with saying that sentence or those sentences, like this generation of kids, X, Y, Z, I don't know how they're going to survive being an adult. I promise you every single generation thought that way towards the kids all the way back to the 1900s to today. Every adult thinks this generation is ruined, that the kids have it, have it so easy. They make things so much harder. Some of it is true, and then other things is like, bro, quit being a boomer. It's okay. You're old. Kids will be kids. You were probably an idiot just like they were when you were young. So whenever I hear something like that, I just I, I just always imagine an old person saying it because trust me, every generation thinks this new generation is a bunch of buttheads. Y'all are, though. Y'all are a bunch of buttheads. I will say that, though. I'm allowed to say it. I'm 26. Are they for real? Being a kid is way harder than being a grown-up. LOL. Relax. I was just defending you. Relax. Being a kid is not anywhere nearly Mom, as hard. Dad, we have to deal with bullies and peer pressure and homework. Oh, and wow! The grades. Oh, my gosh! You, you poor kids! Paying bills. I <gasps> mean a business. Have you ever dealt with an entitled employee or a rude customer? Of course not. You're kids. Being an adult, you have to figure out what you're going to eat every day. Every day you have to figure out what you're going to eat. If you don't, you'll just starve. That's stressful enough. You got to work. You got to visit your parents. <laughs> Bro, enjoy your young years while you can. Enjoy being a kid while you can because being an adult sucks. It's nice because you finally have the freedom. But with freedom comes responsibilities, taxes, Stress, depression, anxiety, everything you could possibly imagine just thrown at you. So yeah, being a kid, way easier than being an adult. I can tell you all this because I was both. I am both. I was both. I was a kid. I'm an adult now. I don't know how to word that. You have it made in the shade and you don't even know it. One, stop using those boomer phrases. That dad looked like he collect Pokemon cards. It good? It's you guys. You have money, freedom, and you can do whatever you want. Not yeah, whatever we I want. We have you guys. Day, you'd see how hard it is. When you have right kids, well, you cannot I'm do sure whatever you want. we a different tune. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what that even means. What did I just say about those boomer phrases? That was a boomer phrase, because even I don't know. I know what it meant, but like, who the hell says that? <laughs> I'm not a boomer, though. I'm a millennial. Class, okay, Will? 
Okay. That's how you know he did bad. No matter what I do, I can't get above a C. Okay, a C is passing, though. I had Dad help me study for this one. I'd like to see him take the exam. That he'd get a D or an F. That kid look like he melts yeah. stuff. He look like a rascal. Today we're going to be talking about the American era. Oh, he's fascinated by fire. <laughs> Brooklyn. Isn't that the name of a city? It's a borough in New York. My parents met there. Oh, wow. I thought Brooklyn was a city. What kind of parents named their kid after a borough? I didn't know it was a borough. I wanted you to be a loser. I don't even know what a borough is. Is a borough a neighborhood? Sit down back there. You're lucky she stopped. Or is that what you do when you in some guts? You burrow in. All right, stop talking. Why is a whole ass 18? No, she's not 18, but like a whole ass 16 year old bullying an 11 year old. What school is this? <laughs> what class is this? The age difference, man. You're lucky she stopped. No, they could be the same age. I don't know. I don't. They got some little ass kids being bullied by some. Okay, so in 1911, over 2 million children in the U.S. What else are you going to do to her? were employed. Does anyone else want to come up and write down a fact that they You see, y'all be doing stuff like this and then be dumbfounded when somebody sh- Oh my gosh, are you okay? I didn't say nothing. Yeah, I'm fine. I ended, I I ended that joke right there and then. This wasn't even a joke. Okay, um... Alex, why don't you come up and stay? I apologize. I didn't say nothing. Are you okay? I apologize. Yeah, That's not funny. I can't stand Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? What's wrong with me? We need to more boxing when we get home. Mom and Dad have no idea what we go through. Exactly. I wish there was a way we could switch places and they have to come to school. Magic. Okay, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget... Tomorrow is bring your parents. Oh, wow. You finally have your chance. Look at the odds, man. Look at the odds. Whoops. Sorry. Unfortunately, you're never going to be able to whip her ass. Like, she's twice your size, little girl. Again, but without the original receipt, we can't return the item, especially since it's broken. I want my money back. It's not my fault my son threw it off the balcony. What kind of cheap toy breaks from falling three stories anyway? A Karen in the flesh! A Karen in the flesh! Woo woo woo! Woo woo woo! Karen alert! Karen alert! It's not my son's fault he broke it. She reminds me of the people who go to restaurants, right? Order a steak. Eat the whole damn steak. And then complain to the waiter, oh, I don't like how my my steak was prepared. I would like a new one. You ate the whole thing though. So clearly you like something about it. Like, trust me, there's so much people who do that. A lot of my friends worked as uh, servers and waiters and waitresses. And you wouldn't imagine the amount of people who will complain about food and their plate is licked clean. Like there's not a morsel of food left on that plate. And they're saying that it was cold or it was undercooked. Well, clearly your hungry ass enjoyed it. Trust me, people be like that, man. Let's run this back, no turbo. I'm sorry, she has much more patience, patience than me. That's why oh, I can't deal with customers. The balcony. What kind of cheap toy breaks from falling three stories? You're not getting your money back. I wish there was more I could do to help. Thank you. Send her away. Absolutely unacceptable. So? I want to speak to your owner. You I am the owner. I am the owner. Ugh! Then I'm going to give you lots of bad reviews. You can only do one. Take it up with my credit card company. Go ahead. At least I'm going to keep the money. Here. Have a nice day. She's trying to return a $20 lightsaber that her son broke. Angry customers three, zero. Oh, one of those days. Well, maybe I should wait to show you this then. No, it's fine. It fell three stories. Worse than what I just dealt with. Lay it on me. Yeah, lay it on her. Rent is going up again? Wonderful. This can't get any worse. That's why you hey get a guys, mortgage. Do you have a minute? Uh-oh, that statement never ends well. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm putting in my two weeks. I got a high Ooh. on More than $18 an hour in retail? Yeah, they're giving me 20 and I couldn't turn it down. Golly, $20 no, 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 an so hour? I'm paying this much. I mean, Not bad. We're keeping our heads above water as it is. Uh, this is effective immediately, but you said you'd give us two weeks. Oh, sorry, I actually have to go right now, but I'll be around <laughs> if you need me to help train anyone. She said actually, deuces. I don't want to lie to you. I probably won't answer, but take care. <laughs> no loyalty. 
Zero loyalty. I love it. We had no responsibility. These companies no, don't own your Brooklyn soul. and Will have no idea how easy they have it. Being an adult is so down. Imagine if there was real PS5s. They probably could have broke half of them. Maybe not. Pasta again, mom? Ugh. Where's the meat? Why aren't you eating? Because there's no I meat. Pasta. Can't you make me something else? I need meat. You know how hard it is to work all day, then come home just to cook you dinner? I'm a growing boy. Once I do you to make anything, can't you just order something in? Do you know how expensive that is? Here we go again. The delivery fees alone cost more than a box of pasta and... He calls y'all broke. It's not easy putting food on the table or a roof over your head. Y'all just gonna take that? I'm sick of you guys complaining all the time. <laughs> I had a hard day too, and I'm not complaining. She calling y'all broke. TikTok videos and hanging with your friends. It must be pretty hard. Really? Is that what you think we do all day? Hang out? Try spending a day in our shoes. Then you'll see. I wish we could. I'll what I will give to kids... And I 100% I agree with this. Um, the fact that when y'all go to school, it's like a whole totally different world. Like being an adult after school is over, it's like one world, the real world. You know what I mean? Like you're in the real world while you're a kid. You have your school life and then the real world. So when you go to school, like your your school life can be totally different from your real life because people in school don't like you or you don't have friends in school or you get bullied in school. And that can cause a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety and can just make you wish like, man, I don't want to come to school no more. I actually have a memory when I was, uh, I was 14 and I was in high school. I was a freshman and I was like, damn, bro, I'm a freshman in high school and I probably do want to go to college. That means I'm going to have to do eight years of this school stuff. I'm going to have to do eight years of this stuff. And I was just thinking to myself, how can I handle that? How am I going to be able to do eight years? Trust me, time flies. Um, life gets easier the older you get because people start to realize all these clicks, all these popular uh, clicks, popular kids, yada, yada, yada. None of that matters. I promise you, none of that matters. All the popular people in my high school, like if you look at them, if you look at them now, washed. <laughs> me and my friend are having an argument, bro. <laughs> there used to be this girl at my school. Well, yes, yeah, she used to be because, you know, we're graduated. She's my age. And back then, you know, since I was also that age, you know, she, she was bad. She was a baddie. She was a baddie in high school because, you know, I was that age as well. So it's not weird. She was a baddie, bro. You look at her now and it's only been eight years. Not even like she was a baddie, like junior year of high school. So that's that's no, I am old as hell. I am 26. That's 10 years. <laughs> but still, 10 years later, you're only 26 and you look like you're damn near 40. Oh my gosh, bro. Washed. Washed. Ugh, happens to the best of them, bro. Trust me. They're either pregnant, washed, broke, or all of the above. Well, try spending a day in our shoes. Then you'll see. I wish we could. I'd love to have no real consequences. I mean, even for 24 hours. I'd go back to school. It beats working all day. Well, tomorrow you'll get to. You all want to go back, go back to school? school the hell wrong with you? I'll never go back I to school. about this. There should be a bring your kids to work day. Mm -hmm. That way they know how. That's it. You guys think your life is tough and we think we have it worse, right? Well, the only way to settle this is if we switch lives. Tomorrow you guys go to school and we'll go to work at this store and we'll see how is it harder. I don't think we can go to school without you. The whole point is you bring us to school. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's child labor laws against you both working. You guys own the store. Who's gonna say anything? And the you guys customers. We're just both sick, but you decided to come anyway. No. I mean, it might be. Okay, my brain is totally not working right now. I'm trying to think of a word that has nothing to do with this video, and I need your help to fill in this crevice in my brain. What do you call it? And I am pretty sure it starts with an I. I literally can't just think of it. What do you call when you whenever you start a new job and they have you go through like that training period? So not training, it starts with an I, I think. What is it called? Please answer for me, because that has been bugging me for like the past five minutes. It's been bugging me. Good what is the word? How good they have it. Like, I don't know it. Like, I don't know why it's not coming to me. Someone's life is until you walk in their shoes. You are preaching to the choir right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not internship. I don't know. What do we say about Not interview. What we're saying. Does it start with an I? Like, the first two weeks on a job, it's not the probation period. Not an internship. Initiation? Orientation! I, okay, it didn't start with an I. 
Orientation, thank you. Who's, who said that? I'm gonna make you a mod right now. Shahid si Simon, you're the first person I saw, bro. You're a moderator, thank you. It didn't start with an I, I apologize. I don't know why I started. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yeah, we're in. Orientation, we're thank start you. start talking like Gen Zers. Oh yeah. <laughs> no cap. Yeah, the caps are off. How do they think Gen Z talks? I remember this desk being so small. No, they do say no cap, right? Does anyone have any questions? I've got one. Why are they here? Right, that's so weird. Shouldn't they be at home caring for Will in Brooklyn if they're sick? That's what any good parent would do. Ooh. That must be Veronica. She came after your parenting skills. Reasons, and it's nice that they could join us. Actually, Anna, would you like to start? Uh, what would you like me are to Are you smarter about? than a fifth grader? Sure. <laughs> I think I'm smarter than a fifth grader. It makes me so nervous. I low-key want to take that test now. Yeah, hold on. You see how I have ADHD? Now I gotta take a test. Are you smarter than a fifth grader quiz? All right, uh, let's find out. Which is the fastest bird on foot? Ostrich, right? Oh, I gotta click start. Okay, um, ostrich. Yee! I'm not gonna do it all. I just wanna make sure. What planet is closest to the sun? Mercury. My very intelligent, my very eager mother just showed us nine planets. Yeah, Mercury. A heptagon is a shape with how many sides? Seven. How long is one regular term for US representative? I know president is four years. Representative? I want to say either two years. Ooh! Ooh, I'm stumped! A U.S. representative? <laughs> I knew it! It was two years! I always go with your gut feeling. Always go with your gut feeling. Always go with your gut feeling, bro. Which of the following states is not on the Gulf of Mexico? Don't show me the picture, like, make it hard for me. Uh, oh, damn. I mean, Texas is there, Louisiana's there, Florida's there. I don't know where the hell Alabama is, nor do I need to. They just hump their sisters in that state. Uh, I'll say Alabama. Wow, I'm stupid. I don't know geography. <laughs> What is the lowest prime number? A prime number is a number whose factors is only one in itself. Is one a prime number? Hold on. It's factors meaning um, it can only be divisible by one or itself. Two can be divised. Okay, so two is a prime number. Is zero a prime number? One is a prime number, right? Three is a prime number. Five is a prime number. So all of these are prime numbers. Huh? I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with one, zero? Oh my gosh, how stupid am I, bro? Okay. <laughs> how is one not a prime number? Hold on, <laughs> what is a fucking prime number? <laughs> I am embarrassing myself. <laughs> it's a prime number. What is a prime number? Now I need to find out. <laughs> I thought a prime number is a whole number greater than one that cannot be exactly divided by any whole number other than itself in one. Okay, so it has to be greater than one. So that's why I got it wrong. Okay, so I didn't know what a prime number meant. I, it just has to be greater than one. Got it. That makes sense. What is the largest South American country by area? South American country by area. I would go with Brazil. It has a Brazilian rainforest. Yeah, there we go. Which one of the following states is not part of the four corners? Are these the four corners? Like literally, wink, bink, 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 bink. 
So New Mexico, um, New Mexico is this right here, I think. Or is that Arizona? Is this New Mexico? Oh my gosh. Americans are terrible at geography, or at least I am. I will say, um, I don't know what a four corner is. I really don't. Are these the four corners? Probably because they have a, like all equal four corners, right? So you, where is you? This is Nevada. I know that's Nevada. I think that's Utah. I think that's Colorado. That's either Arizona or New Mexico. So Nevada isn't one of the four corners. Let's go. Let's go. Who was the first person to step on the moon? The first person? Like, I, the, obvious, the obvious answer is Neil Armstrong, right? But I do know Buzz Aldrin was there, but I don't think he was the first. Boom. Carefully is an example of what type of word? Adjective. Carefully. No, that's a verb. If I say pick that up carefully, no, that would be an adverb. Because you're, you're describing how you should perform that action. Because, like, pretty, cute, um, rock, that's adjectives, describing a noun. But carefully is describing, is describing a verb, how you should perform that action. So that's an adverb. Ugh! Big brains! Big brains! In the Northern Hemisphere, what month is the, is the, is the, huh? Uh, ato atomic atomic equinox in the northern hemisphere what month is the atomic equinox um i'm guessing what month does does autumn start or end equinox what's what month is i'm guessing this means what month does autumn start autumn starts in august is August still summer? Okay, I'm feeling stupid. <laughs> Emma has two yardsticks. Here we go with the imperial system. She also has a 12 inch ruler. She laid them end to end in a line. How many feet long is the line? Who the hell knows the imperial system, bro? America, why are you still teaching kids this? Get on the metric already, bro. Two yardsticks, like what? How the hell am I supposed to know what a yardstick is? I know what it is, but I don't know how long it is. Via foot. So 12 inches is already one foot. Who doesn't know that? So <laughs> it's greater than one feet. We, we got that part. Two yardsticks? I don't know. I don't even know how big a damn yard is in, the, in terms of feet. I'll go with seven. Oh, I just guessed. <laughs> Inca civilizations were... Two more questions and then I'm done. Inca civilizations were concentrated on what continent? Inca, that's Mexico, right? No. Maybe Inca? I think that's Mexico. Or is that Mayan? Was Inca Indian? Or is Inca like people from Chile? Hmm. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the Mexicans. Ah, I was wrong. One more question, then we're done. What stays the Grand Canyon in? All right, we're done. <laughs> I'm done embarrassing myself. I'm done. <laughs> Y'all said Prince went to Ohio school? Shut up. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher got back. She kind of got some back. Hi, I'm Brooklyn and Will's mom. Gosh, I haven't been in front. I feel of stupid since the Stone Age. <laughs> Veronica, stop. I'm sorry about that, Anna. Please continue. You're right. It's been a long time. Back when I was in school, we used books. And now everything is on a tablet. We literally use books too. Yeah, they still use books. Oh, enough with the boomer humor. Can you just move on already? Where are your parents? I mean it, Veronica. I'm gonna have a stern talking to them. Your last chance. Whatever. Now I see where High school diploma? I went to college. I went to college. Your boy's educated. I graduated. I 
would have passed that test if I would have finished it, bro. Get off me. You know, I might not be as hip as I used to be, but when I was a kid, I was the main character in school. Everyone thinks they're the main you character. Say I understood the assignment. Okay, now you're just embarrassing yourself. I wouldn't laugh at you either. I, I looked up Gen Z sayings. Am I not saying it right? Let me just look it up. It just don't sound right coming from you. Here's a term for you. Say less. All right, Ooh. that's it. You're going to the principal's office. Nah, she eating y'all up. I didn't even say anything that bad. <laughs> Veronica <laughs> eating them up. <laughs> now. Veronica was clearing them. Nah. I am so sorry about all this. You gonna let you get, get cleared by a 15 year old? I don't like the way you talk to my wife. Be quiet, simp. You just gonna take that? Hey. She called you a simp, homie. Around at three o'clock today. If you don't show, I'll find you. Veronica is real. It scares me. I can't believe she called me a shrimp. I'm way too. Oh, she called you a shrimp. I thought she called you a simp. I was like, you do fit the role perfectly, you beta male. It's the last one. Get out of it. Hi, is everything okay? I want to talk to a manager right now. Um, that's me. That's their favorite line, bro. Thanks. <laughs> that's you? You're like 12. 13, actually. How can I help you? Well, Karen over here keeps trying hey, to take my doll. That's not nice. Don't call her. Her name is Karen. Actually, my name is Karen, so that's fine. <laughs> the real issue is she's trying to take my yippee yay doll. It's my doll. I saw it first. Besides, my kid loves this show. I have to have it for her. My kid Guys, loves this show too. Give no, it to me. Which one? Oh, you don't want it bad enough, Karen. Breaking the ball. Now one of y'all have to buy it. See what you did? I don't want it now. Go ahead and have it, Karen. Wow. I'm not buying a damaged toy. You oh, damaged I it! We have a problem. Why am I scheduled Saturday? Insane. I told you I don't like working weekends. You think I like working weekends? I worked the last three Saturdays. Okay, let's calm down. I'm sure we can find a compromise. Yeah, can't you guys just figure it out when my parents get here? No, there's nothing to figure out. I already made plans, so I'm not working. Well, I've worked here longer, so I have seniority. Which already, also get paid already so these kids are doing a bad job. Money, then I wouldn't mind working Saturdays. Uh, let's just stop talking about this. I think that guy's stealing things. You think? He definitely <laughs> is. He's back here. Can you guys stop him? Well, maybe if I got paid more, but I don't make enough to- Y'all see how they're already treating the job? Like, they already said, can you not just wait until our parents get here? Can you can you stop them? Like, you're supposed to be the adult. You're supposed to be the owner of the store. You stop him. You run him down. You throw them hands. You've been practicing your boxing, right? You've been practicing your boxing, right? Use your skills. Use your skills, guys. Or you're not gonna get a raise with that attitude. You got a creak in his neck. Talk with that kid. I think I pulled something on my neck. <laughs> you okay? No, he was getting it. Uh, uh, he was getting it. <laughs> okay. Uh. I think I pulled something on my neck. You okay? He was getting it. At 3 p.m. She seems serious. What? Oh, did you not meet her at three? I can't believe we had to stay and clean up. You didn't catch her outside. About it. Maybe mom and dad were right. Maybe it is harder being in the we can't make them think that. They'll never let us live it down. We gotta make sure it seems easy breezy, okay? Okay, Boomer. Huh? You're starting to talk like mom. No, I'm not. Easy breezy beautiful oh, cover Maybe girl. Maybe I should call her mom. Be a snitch. You heard what the kids I like said. that pose. They're coming. Sit up straight. <laughs> hey, guys. How was it? It was great. Mm-hmm. Easiest job in the world. I don't know what you guys complain about. How was school? I bet it was hard. Not at all. It was so much fun. We had a blast. Yep, it was easy breezy. The dad seemed like he had a blast. He's over here making TikToks. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower and relax. Same. Not that we're tired or anything. Wait, we're switching roles for the day, right? Well, then, your day's not over. You gotta cook what? and clean. Yes, it is. We get off at five. Our day's not done at five. Not even you close. You are making dinner. What? Unless you can't handle it. I mean, we'll understand. It's really hard being an adult. I wouldn't want to eat their dinner anyways. What was, what do you guys want for dinner? Yeah, right. We can make PB&J, mac and cheese, 
ordering pizza. Nah, we're sick of all. Nah, y'all gonna have to put respect in my name, bro. Cause I was doing good on that. Are you smarter than a fifth grader test? Y'all threw off my y'all threw off my concentration, my feng shui. I blame y'all. Got me out here looking like I'm an idiot. I'm smart. I know maths. Two plus two, that's four. If I was dumb, would I know that? All that. We want something different. Something. Uh, finished. Big donuts. Big donuts. This man finished just sent me an early Christmas gift. Whoa, finished. I hope that wasn't like breaking into your Christmas budget. Big donuts in the chat. Big donuts. Appreciate that. He said, have you watched my videos slash streams? <laughs> now I will. <laughs> now I will, best believe. I want to see the, the man behind the, the, the camera. Sit here and relax and watch some TV. Uh, uh, uh. Your guys' day isn't over either. You have to do your math homework. Are it should be easy for y'all. There is no way that I'm going to wait any longer to do our homework. That sounds like so much fun. Y'all can handle it. We love math. <laughs> so I was doing pretty good on that smarter than fifth grader test. Oh. I almost got a perfect score. Of course, they're going to make mac and cheese. All it takes is boiling water. Watch them still screw it up. Look at her already screwing it up. Put no water in it. I'd be mad as hell if I had mac and cheese for dinner. Like, where's the meat? I'm sorry, but like, it's not dinner if there's no meat. And I'm not pausing that. You need meat. I also see y'all think I, I grew up to be 6'3", 250 pounds of pure man by eating meat. Yeah, maybe I should pause that. Damn, bro! You can't do an 11 year old's homework? You over here need caffeine to stay up? This is horrible. Honey, can you make me something different? Actually, that's the kids' job. Let's ask them. Do I really have to make Mac and cheese and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? And then still come home and make dinner for you guys? Yeah. And we can't just order something in. Do you know how expensive that is? So sorry. You're just gonna have to eat this. I don't even look edible. Responsibilities are over, so I'm gonna go finish this in my. Not so fast. Who do you think's gonna clean all these dishes? Parents. Fine, we'll do the dishes. You bet you will. So hurry up and finish your food. I wouldn't want to finish it. Ugh. You said it first. No, you did. We won. It's one. It's one. We definitely Mom, won. No, you definitely won. Still our life. You guys lose. Like, like, look. Fine. If only you waited three seconds. I'll be the first to admit it. <laughs> you guys are right. Being a kid isn't that easy these days. You guys are also right. It isn't so easy being an adult either. I think we've all learned you never know how hard someone's life is until you walk in their shoes. Got that right. So does that mean we don't have to do the dishes? As long as I don't have to eat this mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go out to dinner. We deserve it. Actually? Yeah. Yes! I wonder who... Open up, Anna! I know you're in there! Veronica Payne. Oh my gosh! Veronica really said it's on sight! Nah, Veronica is going down as a real one. I don't care what none of y'all say, bro. She is a real one. She told her... She told her op's mom to meet her on the playground at three. And even her op's mom was afraid of her. So she said, I'm finna make, I'm finna pay a home visit to you. Hello? Hello? You thought you avoided this ass whooping? No. I'll handle this. She even has pain in her name. I hope you love this video. Big thanks. Ah, uh, I wanted to see the end of that. Man, I needed to see them throw hands. Nah, Veronica, a real one, bro. She came to the house. She said you wasn't gonna catch me outside. I'll catch you where you lay your head. I like that, Veronica. Never let, never let your ops have one moment of easiness. Never, never. Always keep them on their toes. All right. <laughs> that was parents and kids switch lives for 24 hours, featuring this. Oh, I didn't even know it was featuring someone famous. Who is this person? Oh, that was the mom. Oh, wow.
Oh, wow. Okay. So the mom was famous. Got it. Our, ooh, had a little burp. <laughs> All right. We got Elf, Backstab, Santa Claus, and Christmas. What happens next? It's pretty damn shocking. But first, let me read these, uh, let me read these donos. <laughs> Uh, Decliner said, hi, Prince. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a Merry Christmas as well. Black Neon, thank you so much for that donation. You promised you were going to play Sonic Frontiers. Did I promise? I'm going to have to start doing way more polls on Twitter. This is going to be my next poll. I'm going to put Last of Us, Sonic Frontiers, and two other games. Whichever one gets the most votes, I promise you guys, I will play it until I beat it. How about that? Super Luigi fan, thank you so much for that dono. Stay charming, Prince. You as well, my homie. You as well. Kicks, thank you so much for being a member for 21 months, bro. Appreciate you so much. Dwell the Ghost said, hey, Prince, follow my IG. Sorry, I'm not going to, but hey, if anybody who is viewing his dono wants to follow him, go get him some more followers. The LMC, thank you so much for that donation. Are you going to, are you going to each the, are you going to watch the Stranger Things Darman video when it releases at seven? I don't even know what you're talking about. He's going to release a new video at 7? I'll look at it. Uncle Zero, thanks so much for that dono. Prince, can you react to Combat Goss 2? Please, I beg. Yes, that reaction is coming up. That video is new, right? Like, Combat Goss 2 dropped recently, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I'll check it out. Finish, bro. A $200 donut. A $200 donut, bro. Finish. What do you do for a living, man? What do you do for a living, uh, Finished? Oh no, man! He probably, he probably, he probably flipping bricks. <laughs> and Indom Killer, thank you so much for that donation. Hey, Prince, can you play Red Dead Redemption Two? People want to see you play. Finish what you start. All right, yeah, yeah, that's true. So Red Dead Redemption Two will be on that list as well. I have to finish what I start. I have so many games that I started that I have not finished and had no plans to finish. So I do need to finish what I start. So that poll will come out tomorrow. You will see that poll on my Twitter tomorrow. So if you don't follow my Twitter. At Prince of Hawkham. It's in the bio on all my videos. Follow the Twitter. That way you can vote on the poll on which game we're going to play next. All right, but that was enough talking. Let's go ahead and get back to Darman. And we got Alpha Backstab, Santa Claus, and Christmas. What happens next is shocking. Damn. Can't even trust these elves these days, bro. I mean, I remember when they said in a previous video, you got to watch out for these elves. These elves be shnaky. Oh, okay, old lady. What do you want for Christmas? How about a Christmas tree? You want a Christmas tree for Christmas? That's stupid as hell. You want a Christmas tree? For Christmas? For Christmas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> she an airhead? Anything else? She want ornaments. An iPhone 14. <coughs> How do you go from Christmas tree to iPhone 14? <laughs> you went for Santa. But, uh... How about a picture? <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this elf doing just creeping in the back? <laughs> hey, 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 no no photos or videos with your phone. Come on. What is the problem? What's the problem? I'm a professional photographer that shoots in 20 megapixels. So? <laughs> Relax, bro. It's just a picture. I think it's okay if she takes a few pictures. Yeah, like, back up, bro. Well, I don't. If you don't put it away, I'll take it from you. What's going on over here? What? I am sick of this job. That's what. No one respects me. And I what the hell? He said this is the final straw. Bro, you are a Santa photographer. Talking about no one respects you. What respect should be given? You take pictures. Like what? Bruh, cool it. Cool it, man. Like, he has that main character syndrome bad. He has it bad. Talking about, <laughs> if you don't stop taking pictures with your phone, I'm going to take it. I wish to God you would try to take it, bro. Woo! I would have whooped, whooped his ass so quick and broke his camera. You know, <laughs> 20 megapixels in my ass. Leap, I quit. That was petty. <laughs> 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 he deleted all the pictures before he quit. That is petty. Oh, the elf wanted a cookie. That's what he wanted. Y'all ain't feeding the elves? Not you. Why does Santa need all the cookies? He doesn't need them. Have you seen his belly? Buddy, please. I can't do this right now. I just lost a photographer and I don't want to get Santa upset too. Are you a kid or an adult? When is it going to be about me for once? No, he's, a, he's an adult. He's a little helper. Now be a good sport and go take some photos. Please. Kids are waiting. 
You can't let him have a cookie? Damn. Ship run that tight? Does he know how to do that Of course he does. Now you gonna make him dance? Do the dance. No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Dance, boy. Do the dance, or I'll have to. He said, "Dance, boy." Go ahead and do the dance. <laughs> nah, man. Oh my gosh. I'd be feeling bad for them, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll love these photos. Santa, Santa, Santa. This is what everyone all he talks about. Well, he is the star of the show. Here we have Drake. No, nah, this is a coffee. Drake reincarnated. Drake, if he was a darn man actor. Oh, he, he drinking that Captain Morgan? He said it's been a tough day at work. I need me a hard one. <laughs> I mean, why does he get to be the main character? Aren't you sick of that too? No, I kind of like playing the reindeer. Plus, it's that is literally life. Drake's kid, bro. You know, like my friend Prancer always says. <sighs> Prancer, Rudy, you're not a real reindeer. They're only paying us minimum wage yeah. for this gig. No, I really have a friend named Prancer. But... You have a friend named Prancer? You need new friends. Like he always says, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. He's right. What kind of grass y'all smoking? Dead. That is dead. Buddy, is why aren't you dressed? Damn! Sorry, please get a move on. Well, I guess since you're dressed, you can go ahead and entertain the kids. Let's go. You can't let out. Buddy get a break. He's trying to sip on a, a hard one, a brewski. Uh, listen, Mabel, I have an idea. Hear me out. What if we do like a little special meet and greet with Buddy? You know, dancing elf. <laughs> I'm way cooler than Santa than nowadays, so. <laughs> you want more lines. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, she laughed in your face. Oh, I thought you were being serious for a this moment. Is, when a woman laughs in a man's face, bro, I, wa I watch a lot of Law & Order SVU, bro. <laughs> a woman laughing in a man's face is, is possibly one of the worst things <laughs> a woman can do to a man. <laughs> Imagine you about to get it on with a girl, right? And you whip it out and she laughs. You still going to do it? You still going to do it? <laughs> like she laughs at you like she can't hold it in much longer. I'm talking about like an ugly laugh and everything. Bruh. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but. Now nah, I'm like, I'll probably still do it. Come on. <laughs> Oh, you're being serious. Because I'll win at the yeah, end of the day. Happen. I mean, maybe if Santa calls in sick or something, and even then, it'll still be a big if. Now, please get dressed and go help Santa. It seems urgent. <gasps> Buddy, the dance, you know. That's funny. Damn, she's still laughing at you, bro. All right. Get the Glock, bro. Big and fat like Santa. Go ahead and get the gat. Oh, no. You can't be Santa Claus unless he calls out. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what's up? You walked him zesty as hell. Unless he calls out. Like, hey, girl. Hey, yeah, what's up? You got zest in his step. Hey, buddy. Yeah, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, buddy. Ah! Yeah, what's up? Maybe we'll say you need help with something. Yeah. Could you, uh, could you go get me some milk? You know, I like to get my cookies. <laughs> Are you serious? That's the big urgency? Don't get him no milk. Play more in the fridge. No, I looked. It's all whole milk. You know, and you know how sensitive. My Bro, if I'm gonna get you milk, I'm gonna get you milk, but it won't be milk. That's all I'm gonna say. Or maybe half of it will be milk. Half of it will be a uh, mystery substance. Right? You know, buddy, you get me. They just they don't make them like you. Well, they don't. I'm big as hell. Hell, you need Santa for? You need a 401k. <laughs> what? Good you hear? Cover me, will you? Miralax? Oh, Santa's gonna get the doo doos. What are you doing? He's gonna get the bubble guts. He's a big guy. Might as well. The bubble guts. Oh Damn! You're gonna get in trouble. He's gonna shit his kidney out. No, Bro, you gonna kill this man? Oh my gosh! Hey, Santa, I went ahead and got you an ice cold almond milk just the way you like. Oh, thank you! Cause Santa's really thirsty! Hey Santa, can we get a photo? Oh 
yes, 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 of course, of course. Oh, 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 oh. Say cookies. Cookies! cookies. Oh, oh, oh. Now, hey, I don't know how realistic a million Roblox is, but I'll talk to Mrs. Claus for a million Roblox? Robux? Oh, 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 oh. That's what y'all want with, sure with, your, with your money? A million Robux? Up. Absolutely. Let's do it. Oh, hey, kid. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, oh, oh. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, is he see. deaf? Maybe he's deaf. That's a lot. Oh no, he's just greedy. I wasn't good all year for nothing. I expect this to be here by 10 p.m. on Christmas. Oh. Keep it. Oh, ah! 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 Keep it. Oh, ah! <laughs> he gave you a list and a deadline, Santa. You just gonna sit there and take it? I'm sorry, but I'll have to break out of character a little bit. I'm like, ho, 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 boy, what the fuck you think you talk to like that? Just a bit, though. That's just breaking out of character a bit. They'll be able to overlook that. Parents won't get that mad, right? They want they want somebody to teach their kid a lesson. See ya. That's why they're bringing them to me. Oh, he has a part two. Sorry, Mr. Elf. Cookies. Hey, buddy. Milk? <laughs> I'm airing the whole place out. I'm airing the whole place out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What are you doing in here? I thought you were Santa for a sec. Hey, you ever wonder why Santa gets the big room? Like seriously, he gets the candies. The Bruh, he is Santa. Nice sofa. What is this you main character syndrome you have? You are an elf, he is Santa. Learn your order in this world. Buddy. Learn your place. What's going on with you right now? Bruh, stop. thank you, he's Santa. Like, try meditating or something. You went after the mascot you of meditate? Christmas. You meditate? No. Santa's I the mascot, right? Around the city. That's how I relieve my stress. How many times I gotta tell you, man? You're not a reindeer, you can't fly. No, yes, I can fly. Oh, he's high. Look, I got my pilot license. Oh, okay, 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 Never mind. he's not high. <laughs> I thought no, he really I thought he could fly. <laughs> that would have been a really bad situation. Okay, Drake. Please don't do anything else dumb. You as well, Drake. I don't want to see you in the news Let's for get it. for a while, man. Look at me, I'm Santa Claus. Ho ho ho! I eat cookies, drink milk all day. Why everyone works? Bruh, you is not Santa. It's okay. Hey, There's a whole, whole world that doesn't <laughs> nice revolve hat. around Santa. Quit your day job. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> yours does, yeah. though. Uh, what you doing in my office? Uh, uh, no, no, I was just uh, going to get you beard oil. Uh, you know, your beard looked kind of dry lately. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, thank you. Oh, it's, it's empty. You know what? Actually, would you mind getting another one of these? Because uh, i got to use the restroom. They're all out of almond milk, and I had that vitamin D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shift it around. You know he had that Miralax, Miralax milk. All right. He's going to poop out a kidney. He's going to poop out his pancreas. That's disgusting. Oh, sorry. I'm just looking for Santa. I baked the cookies that he asked for. I know her oh, cookies yeah, are, are yummy as hell. Oh, smell delicious. You made these? No, I'm being serious, too, bro. Like, if you have ever been to a cookout, I need to see the person who made the food. I need to see how their arm looks like. Because if they have that, y'all know what I'm talking about. When they have that, you know, um, when they have less resistance, <laughs> you know the food going to smack. Oh, you know you in for a treat, bro. Oh, my gosh. I know those cookies are bussing. 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 Ooh, ooh. Oh, smell delicious. You made this? Uh, Yeah. Uh, how, how did you get the frosting to be all green? Uh, you buy green fro coloring. frosting or Why? food coloring? You might even bring some back. Sure. What for? You're starting to scare me, little elf. What are you up to? Green frosting? What are you trying to accomplish? Oh, Lord. Anybody got ice on Santa? Uh, negative. Um, do you want me to meet and greet with the kids? I don't mind taking over. Yeah, we might have to do that if Santa doesn't get here. <gasps> What uh, I used the beard oil, buddy. Gave me an oh, <laughs> he put food coloring in the beard oil. I went to the store, like you said, and I don't know, maybe it expired or something. Uh, I don't know. I can't go out there like this. 
It'll be a catastrophe. You're right. Oh, buddy, do you mind covering for something? Him again? Don't mind. I would love to. <gasps> Look, Santa has a green beard. You had all this time to save that unibrow, bro. Oh, 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 I know you guys are expecting Santa to Let me have a white beard, but we love the green beard. No. <laughs> This man got a pelican on his head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like I said, I don't make fun of the appearances if it's something you can't change for the most part. This is something you can change. <laughs> Therefore... Y'all said stop roasting these little kids. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just saying, bro, like, the parents are to blame. <laughs> Knowing your whole ass kid is finna be on a video that's gonna be used 7 million times. Oh, no, you, guys are you don't think one person's gonna comment about it. But we love the green beard. Yeah, it looks Christmassy. It's very creative and festive. Woo! Hey, you mind taking a picture with my boy? <laughs> You'll beat your ass if you don't take a picture? Look at him. Look at him. Mind taking a picture with my boy? He just looked violent. <laughs> yes, of course you can. <laughs> it's the parents' oh, fault because, like, bro. Turn out how I expected it. Shave your kid's eyebrow. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. Hey, you, you should get a paintbrush. It's like when a kid has a terrible lineup. Blame the parents and the barber, but the parents. Like, your kid is a representation of you. I can't believe she liked his green beard. Yeah. Well, I tried to tell you to stop. You know, your, your plans just keep backfiring. Besides, Chris is a nice guy. You know, he bought all these gifts for the kids with his own dime. Oh, that's nice of him. Just can't really hate on that, Santa. Smarter and cunning. What would Chris do? He'd probably steal all the presents. <laughs> Wait, no. I know that look. Come on, don't even think about it, buddy. I'm serious. What is he planning? Like, just put the cult down over here. It's gonna look great for the photo shoot. You got it. Now, let's go get the rest of the props. Rudy, would you mind giving us a hand? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Let's go. I wonder how happy these kids would be once they find out the gifts are empty. Oh, shoot, it's too light. Oh, you're gonna put coal in the bags instead. Oh, damn, she got actual coal. To what end will you go to be the main attraction at this little mall? This is so sad. All they dumbass is gonna get cold. <laughs> Don't worry, little one. There's one more in there. Oh, a very special one for you. Now nah, this this oh, elf is a buddy. a true oh, hater. Yeah. This elf is a true hater, bro. Who is this? Is this some kind of sick joke, huh, Santa? No, no, no. I got him all toys. What is this? No. This doesn't make any sense. How did you play such a mean prank on children like this? We are leaving. Come on, honey. This is a disgrace. Santa Claus, more like the Grinch. Oh, <gasps> no. All right, who threw that box? Because now we're going to box. No, please. Damn. Please, I can fix this. Oh, Santa, this isn't your fault. This <laughs> nah, bro. That elf need to just drop it, man. Like, what do you care that you're not the mascot, bro? Who cares? This is a part-time gig. Supposed to. Once Christmas is over, you're not needed. <laughs> it's gonna be a PR disaster. All those parents were taking photos. I just hope this doesn't hit the news. It's all my fault. First, the, the beard goes green, and then... Oh, he seems like a good guy. And the gifts? He's like a good guy. What am I doing wrong? Hey, stop. This isn't your fault, okay? There was a mix-up somewhere. We'll figure something out, okay? I already have it figured out. Bro, my mustache hurts right now. I'm gonna take some time off. What? No, you can't take some time off. What do you mean take time off? Your job is literally for like three weeks, four weeks max. What do you mean time off? Like once Christmas is over, 
They don't need you. <laughs> what the hell are you taking time off for, bro? Your job span is four weeks. So you're going to take two weeks off? So you're only going to be at work for half the time that ex exists? Like, bruh, really? It's not that serious. This elf, bro, you need to go and audition for, like, Lord of the Rings or what? something, bro. No. You do you not need to be an elf. There's only a few days until Christmas. The kids need you. I'm under a lot of stress, right? And this is why Santa's be drinking. I eat cookies, gain a bunch of weight, and then Jessica and me. Who's Jessica? She left you. I'm having problems at home. Ah, you can't get it up. Pretty mad at me for forgetting the eggnog. Okay, the eggnog. Uh, I don't know how I forgot. That's code and word. I have a list. I checked twice. It's code word for those gas station pills. <laughs> I, just, I gotta do this. What am I oh. supposed to do then? How am I going to replace you in such a short notice? Oh, talk to Rudy. Oh. You know, or go, go, go to the elf, uh, uh, Buddy. He's great with kids. I'm sorry. Buddy's like, this is my time to shine. Hell yeah. Like, this is your three days to shine, bro. Like, it's just Christmas. Has anyone seen Chris? I feel really bad about what happened. Chris isn't here, Buddy. Congrats. You're the main character now. Like, this is what you wanted so badly. And it's going to last three days. I don't get it. <laughs> Where's the elf? All right, this is your moment. Don't blow it. Okay. Hi, I'm Buddy the Elf. What's your name? Where's Santa? Uh, Santa's not here right now. He's handling some business in North Pole. But don't worry, he hears everything that I say. So what would you like for Christmas? I'd like a meet and greet with Darman. All right, you sound like you've been a good kid. I'll make no, that she don't. Great. Where is he? Uh, <laughs> you want Darman right now? These kids uh, these days, like man. Said, he's not here right now, but kids these days, days man. Don't make me mad. I want to see him right now. Right now! Sorry. <laughs> No, we're not done. What kind of kids are y'all crazy? Well, wait. Austin, what did I tell you about using those wrestling moves on people you don't know? Sorry about that. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... You know what the funniest thing about parents are, which pisses me off? Their kid would do some of the most wildest stuff ever. They'll do some of the most outrageous, outlandish stuff ever. And they'll be like, and all the parents will, be, will do is, sorry about that. You know kids. I know, I know this kid from the gas she's hands. That's what I know. What about you, mom? What do you know? Huh? How educated are you? You think you can catch these hands as well? <laughs> You'll be right. The hell? Like, bro. They be so annoying. Like, they think a simple sorry is enough to excuse their child's piss poor behavior. And then they're going to blame it on everybody but themselves. You see, if they weren't playing Grand Theft Auto all day, if they weren't playing Fortnite, where are all of these chat rooms all day? Or maybe it's just because you're a bad parent. Maybe that's it. This kid over here trying to do a suplex on an elf. Who taught you that? <laughs> Bruh, could not be me, man. Could not be me. I won't hit a kid, but... Cookies! Cookies! I'll shake a kid. Let's get another one for safety. Uh, uh, Is that the same thing as hitting? Awesome. I wouldn't shake a kid on, then. Let's go. I don't want to get uh, canceled. Uh, he looks he looks well mannered. I'm not finished with Oh, she's you. back. What are you doing? I was here first. Too bad so sad. Go away. Ooh. Okay, kids, you don't have to. I said move. Ooh. Hey, why don't you teach your kids some manners? Don't you That's dare speak fair. to me like that. Right, you see? You see? You see? Like the 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 dad was 100 percent right. You need to teach your kids some manners. The only thing she heard was, don't you speak to me that way? The hell? I'm gonna I'm gonna for sure speak to you that way. Cause your kid is speaking to my son that way. Makes no sense. Makes zero sense. Zero accountability when it comes to parents. They want to blame everybody but their kid. Sometimes you just have a bad egg. Sometimes it's your fault. Sometimes it's Fortnite. Why don't you teach your kids some manners? Don't you dare speak to me like that. Right, I'm gonna calm down. We'll I'm gonna speak to you any way I want to, it was my Sister son. Irene. You look like a you look like a lady who go to my church. She be calling me baby. She be making some bomb ass cornbread though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I 
This is why I don't have kids, bro. I can't imagine it happening like this at all. I will pull my hair out. I tried to warn you. You know, I'll be right back. Gotta go help Prince to load up his sled before tonight. He gotta go Rudy record a verse. Drake, you don't gotta lie to us. To. No, it's for his kids. We rented one to take one up to the mountains. Your sleigh is ready for pickup. Wow. You did. This man's really That's living fun. the reindeer life. <laughs> Here it comes, the confrontation. Thank goodness you're here. Yeah, just for a minute. Just hanging up the Santa suit. You're good. But, no, but, but why? Yeah, I made up my mind. Did I realize I'm no good at this job? Besides, I never wanted to be Santa in the first place. It's just too stressful. Yeah, it seems yeah. stressful. I mean, what made you want to do it all these years? For the kids. I know you can't make them all happy. But the ones you do reach, the ones that light up, and they tell you their dreams and what they want for Christmas. It's not the And elf, swallow key. But seeing those kids cry. Ooh, he'll do he'll do some work on your kneecaps. I ain't cut out. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Prince stop it. For this job. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Wait, Santa. I think I figured a way how we can make the kids happy again. I'm still waiting for a so you see. Are they not gonna do one in this video? Okay, settle. Hey! Ah. Did you bring us back to traumatizing kids all over again? Huh? No, that's not it. Relax! Be patient. Oh, are you sure this is a good idea? Just trust me. Oh. Alright, we forgot why all the gifts were missing. Indeed, the Grish did steal them. But good news is, Santa brought them back. Thank you, Santa! <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Yay! Uh, oh, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> Come on. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know, I've Put been thinking, maybe you should have your own show. Really? Yeah, kids seem to really like you. I don't know. I don't think I really want to do the whole main character thing. I'd rather be Santa's little helper. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought you'd jump at that opportunity. I uh, know, but as I say, the grass is always greener on the other side. All right, what a what a what a fantastic ending! He learned his role in society and um, decided not to uh, seek any advancement. What a happy ending! <laughs> Learn your place. That's crazy, man. It's like the Indian caste system. Don't y'all do that down there? I need all my Indian subscribers. Keep it a buck with me. Don't they do that down there? Like, it's called the caste system where wherever you're born, that's like how they truly see you should stay. So if you're born into poverty, that is your role in society to be a, a broke person? Or is that all fictional? But let me know. Like, my Indian subscribers, is that a real thing? So like, if you're born in a rich family, like your place in the world is to be rich and, you know, give birth to rich kids, et cetera, et cetera. If you were middle, you're supposed to stay in the middle. If you're on the bottom, you're supposed to stay on the bottom. It's outdated, Babul, Babul Saha said. Wow. I don't know about y'all, but ain't nobody in this world, not a single soul in this world can ever tell me, can ever tell me to stay and stick in my place, bro. I'll go wherever I want to go. I'll achieve whatever I want to achieve. I don't care how much people are hating on me or wishing on my downfall. I don't care, bro. I really don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do, how I want to do, when I want to do it, why I want to do it. Does that make sense? I'm sure it did. All right, but that was it for that video. Now, up next, we got Mean Girls, Shame, Retail Worker. They live to regret it. Are right, we finna get some Mean Girls? Finna get some Claws? Some Meow? Finna get some Cat Fights? Man, darn it, darn man need to th start having these actors throw hands, bro. I promise you, views will go up. If you actually have them throwing hands, <laughs> I would kill to watch a video like that, bro. Like they're actually throwing hands. Ah. All right. Mr. Pop YouTube, thank you so much for that donation. He said, yeehaw. Yeehaw right back to you, sir. I'm from Texas. So yeah, I know all about the country folk. I know all about the ease and the haws. I know all about that. I'm from Texas, yes, sir. Luzi, thank you so much for that dono. What's your OnlyFans, Prince? It's OnlyFans.com slash D's Nuts. 
Um, CJ, <laughs> thanks for that dono. Hey, Prince, when are you going to play more God of War? To be honest with you, I already beat the game on my own. The reason why I didn't play it on live stream is because God of War was... I don't like playing open world games. It's not... It is open world, but like, God of War is it's, it's such a special game to me. I had to play it on my own free time. A game like Last of Us, I can definitely play on the channel. Red Dead Redemption 2, I could definitely play on the channel because like, Red Dead Redemption 2, yes, it is open world. Yes, there's many things to do, but... For the most part, I'm gonna stick to the main storyline. That's why I played GTA 5 online. Because yes, there is main stuff to do, but you know, I'm gonna stick to the main storyline. Uh, but yeah, God of War already beat the game, so there's no way I can play a game I already beat. I will be bored out of my mind, bored out of my mind, and you will notice it. Ducky, thanks so much for that dono. He gave me a little rose. Oh, is he trying to hit on me? I'm taken. Shame on you. I'm actually not taken, but you know, you know how it go. Swear I saw Leo at Hyde, and he even looked over at me. You're lying. There's no way. Leonardo, like DiCaprio. I swear I saw Leo at Hyde. Or Leo from down the block. At me. You're lying. There's no way. What was that? That better not be glass. I'm sorry. I will clean it up right now. Why they always got her playing a bro girl? Katie, you work here. I would literally rather die than work retail. <laughs> um, well, What's the issue really with having a job? Out. My dream is to start my own business selling ornaments, but for now, this will ah, seasonal okay, job. Wait. So you're not going to college. Ooh. So you can sell these. Yeah, that is kind of laughable. Not to be a downer. Not even gonna uh, lie. But no one's gonna buy cheap, weird. DIY Christmas decorations that aren't even a name brand. I wouldn't say that. Maybe that was the case once, but there's actually a lot of really successful DIY brands that have a huge following. I mean, like Mr. Kate, Sorry Girls, Crafty Unicorn. Followers are not the same as customers. That's facts. Okay, trust me. I'm Followers are not the same as customers. Christmas miracle to make a business out of. That's why you see all these rappers, all these singers, musicians with millions of followers, guys, millions of followers, but they struggle to sell 50,000 50, copies of their album. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Followers do not equal customers. Same thing as YouTube subscribers. I have a million subscribers. Do a million people buy my merch? Do a million people watch my videos? Do a million people donate in the live streams? No, no, and no. No to all of the above. Followers do not equal customers. In fact, I'll say the percentage, unless you're like Mr. Beast or like someone really hey, engraved Katie, in like let's get a move on. I don't social you media, all day and talk to your friends. One percent of your subscriber base, and we were just leaving. Is gonna buy your merch, donate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just one percent. Mama buy your Christmas decorations, and she said she might be able to. Nah, her braids are laid. Really? Golly. They are definitely. Damn, girl. Nah, her shit is laid. Ain't nobody can tell her anything. This shit is beautiful as hell. Look at this this god work. Look at this god work. She looks like a goddess, bro. This this is laid. I'm not even really into um hairstyles and all that. That's why I have a boring ass afro and a taper. Cause I'm not really into hairstyles. Her shit is laid. We better than the ones we inherited. That's a baddie. Grandma. You know what? Tell her that she can have first dibs. Oh, my Etsy store goes live. Etsy store? Why am I not shocked? <laughs> What's wrong with Etsy? A bunch of haters. I shop on there all the time. It shows. Ooh, she got you there. You really <laughs> she ate like you with that one. <laughs> if you let me business, completely control your platform and basically take all of your sales. I mean, that's Everyone YouTube though, right? Start somewhere. Plus, Katie has a booth at the Business Expo at the Plaza over winter break, which is major. So, nobody cares about that. That's YouTube though, right? I, I, I Y'all do realize... For every do for every dollar y'all donate to me, I think YouTube gets like forty five cents of it. So I really only get fifty five cents out of every dollar you give to me. Ain't that crazy? It's a little crazy, right? <laughs> Lindsay, isn't your dad's company one of the vendors that's supposed to be at the expo? Yeah, wait. So your dad's gonna have a booth at the same expo as Katie? He really only does that pathetic thing every year. So don't quote me on that. I don't need YouTube quick. coming after my head. Okay. Uh-huh. Sure. You really think my dad needs to stoop to that level? Mmm. 
She clearing you, Katie. What are you gonna say? Okay, you said actions speak louder than words. It sounds like Katie's little business might be on its way up. Not if I knock it down first. A true hater. A true hater never gives up. Absolutely. <laughs> Until they see the downfall of their ops. Christmas decoration. 50 Cent will be so proud of you. These are so cute. Thank you. Um, everything that you see is handmade and hand painted. I wish I could make something like this. I'm not much of an artist. I could barely make macaroni art. <laughs> Well, you know, I always like to say that anyone can be an artist as long as they have the right instructions. Why are you lying? She helped me with some of these, and if she can do it, you definitely can. Some people cannot be Probably artists. I'd be offended, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Time to teach her a lesson in business 101. Corporate sabotage. Look at those other two just following the main girl around, the what queen bee. Oh, I'm just here helping out my dad. He's the one handing out free candy. How are you getting people to come over to your booth? Um, I just put the decorations out and it seems to be working. People have been coming over all morning. <laughs> what? You mean like that one sad person who didn't even buy anything? Look, I'm not really one to hand out free business advice. Yet you will though. But I'm gonna take pity this one. Yet you're gonna hand out business advice. Attraction, contest, candy. And that like this. Wait, stop. You're going to break them. Lindsay, oh, she went to clown down. school. Okay. Not bad, girl. Catch. <gasps> Don't drop it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's y'all own damn fault. <laughs> They're ruined. You did that on purpose. See, now this is a moment, Darman, where you can have your actors throwing hands at each other. This is a fighting moment. This calls for an ass whooping. Darman, bro, you know, cross the line, bro, cross the line. Your videos will still be monetized, I promise you, because it's all fake. It's not like they're actually fighting for real. Like his videos will still be fine, monetized and all that great stuff. Have some actors throw some hands in videos, bro. I'm, I need it. Cause these bullies, they be going above and beyond and they still don't get their ass whooped. I don't like that. I'm so all about action, man. I won't. I won't even really argue back with you. I will just. I will just beat you, silly. Neither of you know how to catch. That's the quickest way to shut somebody up. Time and money I spent on this. Slap them and then dare them to slap you back. Quick. See how quick they shut up. You do have to be bigger than them, though, for it to work. Waste your time and money on something that was never going to work. Like she's taking no days off of this hating gig. She's putting in extra hours, some OT. Don't listen. But what if she's right? What if it's all just a waste of time? Now she's in your head. Love is never a waste of time. Besides, like my mom always tells me, if you follow your passion, it'll always lead to success. False. And she's right. I don't know if that's true. Well, it means what you define by success. If being I'm happy sure. is successful, then yes, that's true. Do you think Craft Unicorn would give up over some spilled ornaments? No, I guess not. Then neither should you. Now come on. Not even. Sometimes following your dreams only you brings misery. All these ornaments and launch your business. Because you realize you're not that good at what you, you really like to do. Alright, montage. Girl, if you don't get a new laptop. Oh yeah, she's broke. That's why she can't get a new laptop. My bad, my bad, my bad. That laptop's all the way from 2012. You survived the Mayans. <laughs> Alright, so she's getting some stores to carry her ornaments. Alright. I don't rem I, Do people really go out to like find the best ornaments? I don't know. I just bought like a 12 pack from Target. <laughs> Hold on, I got a fart guys. Hopefully you don't hear it on the mic. Okay, it was one of the silent ones. So I'm gonna definitely smell it. Ooh, preemptive strike. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's the buffalo uh, sauce from the wings I had earlier. I wonder my boat hill a little spicy. I can feel it. Something good 
Damn you broke, four dollars? <laughs> you better boot up that camera and start an OnlyFans cause it seems like your ornaments are not hitting. Elois? Of course. Perfect timing. Look what the reindeer dragged in. And look at her little muskins following her around. Nothing. We were just shopping for some wrapping paper. Are you returning all of your Christmas decorating garbage? You should have taken Lindsay's advice before you wasted all your money. So people just have to learn things the hard way, I guess. Well, Crack her in her damn jaw, bro. <laughs> Decorating our tree. Why am I so quick to violence? Maybe that's my issue. I need to start using my words more. I mean, God didn't yeah, bless like me with this. these big ass guns oh, for nothing. I'm sorry. We don't take returns on items that have already been used. Well, can't I'm just you practicing my second sense? amendment. Excuse me. The right to bear guns! Oh, no, 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 or right no. to bear arms. That would have been funnier. Books? Wait a minute. You're a crafty unicorn. I watch your YouTube videos like all the time. It's actually the whole reason why I started DIY. That's probably one of the most awkward things ever. I don't even know how to explain it. Whenever somebody recognizes you from YouTube and you're like, you're such and such. You're just like, yeah, I am. <laughs> I met uh, Philip DeFranco at this one Halloween party my accountants threw. He did not look like how I thought he was going to look in person. Wow. I guess the how you look on camera really does differ from how you look in real life. He, nothing was weird about him. Like, nothing was weird about him at all. It was just like, you know, sort of than I expected. That's it. What are you doing? I guess a lot of these YouTubers oh, are sorter than you expect. Christmas project. Swung by to get some supplies. But I really haven't found anything that I like. But these, these are amazing. They're so unique. Well, thank you. Um, I'm trying to sell them, but nobody's buying them. I guess the girls at school were right. It was a total waste of my time. You let them get in your head. I know how that is. I had a couple girls like that when I first started my business. Really? But, I mean, you're really successful now. Not always. I can't tell you how many times I've failed. But I kept at it because I knew if I followed my passion, then success would follow too. Most people quit after their first oh, failure. Tell me the exact same Second thing. failure, third failure. You're going to fail a lot in life. You got to keep going. This might sound crazy, but have literally, you DIY tutorials? what else were you going to do? Uh, just no, give up? No, I've just been trying to sell them. Not keep moving forward? Once you build an audience and they love watching your videos, then you'll have a community that will buy anything you put out. It's worked for me. <laughs> Damn, for you too. she has called her followers some yeah, mindless idiots. Never thought about that. They'll buy anything you put out. <laughs> really good advice. Thank you. You're welcome. You see, the issue with her advice is she said, you know, put out some videos. And once you have a following, your community will buy anything. Do you know how hard it is to get a following? Oh, my goodness gracious. I think being a social media influencer and we're going to group it all together. YouTuber, Twitch star, YouTuber, uh, Instagrammer. Uh, all TikToker, all of that combined into one. I think that is the number one dream job for kids. It's no longer movie star. It's no longer famous athlete. It is definitely social media influencer. It is such a hard job to break into. And me, myself, I haven't even fully, well, I've come way far further than a lot of people. But me, myself, Bro, I'm still on the bottom of the pole when it comes to actual social media influencers. Think about it. Mr. Beast is not a social media influencer. He started there for show, but that man is the whole ass celebrity now. A lot of people know his name. A lot of people want to shake his hand. He has a lot more money than a lot of your favorite movie stars, etc. Same with uh, KSI, uh, PewDiePie, ugh, and other people. Like You get what I'm saying, right? Like, they're on a different level. So I don't even like calling them social media influencers no more. Like, they're damn near celebrities because you okay. reach a point where That's your really name becomes advice. bigger than your work. You're welcome. But it wasn't free advice. I'm going to have to steal one of your ornaments. <laughs> Promise me you will never give up. You want your name to become bigger than your work because then you can sell people pretty much anything and they'll Thank you. watch it because you're in it. Katie is now more motivated than ever. That's how The Rock keep gets, keeps getting y'all to watch this dumbass she movie. Home, she starts recording <laughs> DIY videos that she can post on YouTube. <laughs> 
Within a short amount of time, lots of people start discovering her videos and loving what she does. That's totally not how it goes. Katie keeps recording content. She's shocked to see how much people love learning from her. But what she's even more shocked by is how many people want to buy from her. I will say women will definitely buy merch products way quicker than a male would. Everything she does, she can't keep any of her products in stock. Women make more, way more than men on the internet. I'm talking about way more. It's not even a comparison. They make Are you so sure much more. You can cover all this. Yeah, I mean, didn't your dad cut you off after you failed out of? Women ride classes? for their favorite okay. social Just media I influencers. Out of college doesn't mean I can't treat myself. You flunked out of college. Just have some nice Christmas decorations. Maybe if a girl had a job. Oh, <laughs> now you're the bum. Oh. And she's the rich you. one. Look who finally came to their senses and stopped making those weird little ornaments. Oh, no, no. You know what, Lindsay? You were right. Oh, please eat her. It turns out that making and selling- Clear her ass. Did not work as a business model. But sharing how to make them sure did. What are you talking about? You really don't know? Katie has over a million subscribers on YouTube now. Golly! <laughs> yeah. A million subscribers. She's set for life. 2.4, she's set for life. Okay. Well, just because she has a lot of followers doesn't mean she's made any sales. Doesn't matter. The views. It's like I oh, said. Oh, she has lots of customers. The views, bro. Right. The views pay for themselves. Including you. Ooh. Uh, why don't you tell me what name is on that box in your cart, Lindsay? Ugh, clear her! Kids, I don't get it. Everybody's got these. Katie is a nickname. For Catherine. Her full name is Catherine May Langston. Catherine May is what tested best with my target demographic when we were working on branding. Uh, go ahead, Katie. Go ahead, Kate Kate. Literally everywhere in social media. I mean, everyone I follow has been plugging them. Okay, well, if you're really Catherine May, why are you buying them at Bullseye like the rest of us? Um, we're not here to at buy. Bullseye, came Target. To the in-store display. Hold on. Does that mean you can hook people up with free Christmas decorations? They're gonna hook your ass up, um, though. You know, the discounts <laughs> actually just come. <laughs> oh, well, you you know tried it. Actually in the job market looking oh. for something since she failed out of... <laughs> really? Well, you know, we actually have a few openings. You're gonna hire her? But I'd hurry up if I were you. We've already got hundreds of applicants. You're better than me. I, I wouldn't hire her ass. Got badly Ain't before. nothing in this world can convince me to hire her ass. In that case, I'll apply. Really? I'll keep an eye out for your application. Good luck. I would never give my bully a job. Are you kidding me? I can't. This smoke is, in, is internal. I wanted the discount. Ma'am, you're gonna have to pay for that. Guess you shouldn't have turned down that job, huh? See how quickly they your friends turn on you? They're never your friends. They're your followers who are finally having a brain developed for themselves and having their, their own personal thoughts. Ugh. Uh, it's me! Ah! It's me! I'm Mario! Man, they should have casted me as Mario in that movie. What a way better job. All right, um, let me go ahead and read these donations and we're gonna get back into reacting to Darman. We'll probably, uh, Christmas. This one looks like a good one. This one looks like a movie. I'll probably have to watch this one real quick. Or Kid Becomes a Grown Up for 24 Hours. We can watch this one. I wanna see what Jay's up to. I'm pretty sure this is about Jay. All right, let me read these donations because y'all have been so, so, so kind to me. Love you so much. Mwah. I don't know why I keep kissing y'all. That's going to get me arrested. <laughs> uh, Video Man, thanks so much for that message. He said, did you see that they're making The Last of Us into a show? Yes, I have seen. I think it's dropping like January 15th. No free promo, but um, still. I'm going to have to watch it. I'm going to be honest with you. But I probably should. Because um, the thing about Last of Us is... I, for the most part, know the story. Like, it, this game is pretty old. I, For the most part, I don't know each and every part. I don't. But for the most part, I think I know the story. Enough to watch the TV show and get an idea of what's happening. So I probably will watch the TV show. But I'm thinking, should I finish the game first? I don't know. Ducky, thank you for all of those donations. He called me yummy. I don't know, Ducky. You about to make me act, act up. <laughs> I'm kidding. And also, thank you so much for joining Starter, Back, uh, Starter Pack, bro. Appreciate that. Nemo, thanks so much for that dono. He said, I'm back, Prince. You should watch horror videos. Maybe I will. 
I met horror animations. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I think I've done it in the past. Um, reacting to horror animations live. I think I'm 99% sure I've done it in the past. I could do it some more. I I, sh I could definitely do more live streams, give you more content. Because it seems like y'all like my live streams, which makes me feel good because I like my live streams. It's when I can actually truly be myself. Because with the video reactions, you know, it's it's more of like, you know, I sit down, give my comments, end the video. I'm trying to make it as short as possible without me talking too much. But the live streams, <laughs> you gonna have to sit and wait for me to finish. I'm gonna speak my mind on these live streams. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. Cam Stem, thank you so much for that dono. The LMC, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Darman has a video that came out today. I think uh, for a video with the entire theme of Stranger Things is crazy. Am I gonna have to watch it? I'll probably watch it on the next live stream. It came out today. I'll probably have to watch it on the next live stream. Who knows? Maybe I'll still watch it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I have like three videos left to watch. It's called Nerd Fights Mean Girl and Upside Down. Okay, okay. And Nathan, oh, thanks so much for that dono. He said, hey, Prince, how you doing? I was late to the stream, so here's my late fee. I'm going to enjoy the stream. Bow. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you are ever late to a live stream, you have to pay your late fee. I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them. All right, let's get back to the Darman videos. We got kid becomes a grown up for 24 hours. He lives to regret it. And I'm 99% sure it's going to be Jay's badass. Yep, it's Jay. His, his stomach grumbling, I know it. I don't think you know what to do today. Hang on. I'll open the door in a second. He's just faking it. He's faking it. This man got a barnyard door? Damn, that's fancy. How'd you get that door open? I've been your mom for 11 years, Jay. I think I know how to get around your little schemes now. Now, what are you doing up in here pretending to throw up? You no. couldn't just fake throwing up? You, had, you, to to you actually had to ruin your shirt? Hate that place. Why do you do this every morning, Jay? The answer is the same as it's been every other day. You're going to school. Thank you, Jay. Go to school. Oh, no. What are your plans? Nuh-uh. I know. I'll make your favorite dinner. Macaroni and cheese. No, why does this kid have the nicest bathroom? Do y'all see this kid's bathroom? Oh my gosh. <laughs> This bathroom is nice as hell. This bathroom is nicer than my old apartment's bathroom. And I paid two twenty five hundred dollars a month for that. What this is a nice ass bathroom. I know. I'll make your favorite dinner. Macaroni and cheese and collard greens. You know, Ooh, the last time you tried nice. to cook, I almost had to call the fire department. I love me some collard greens. Now come on. You're gonna be late. You're a hard person I'm bargaining with, you know well, that? Now we know where you're getting from, right? Wait, I thought you were supposed to be out today. That was the plan until my mom walked in on me fake throwing up. Mm-hmm. I told you, you should have gone with a rash. Bro, no. Her and Mikey's mom talk all the time. She knows about the allergic reaction scheme already. Mm-hmm, and she wouldn't know about the fake throwing up. <laughs> all right, class, finish up. Be sure to look over these problems tonight. One of them will be a bonus question on your test tomorrow. We got a test tomorrow? Mm-hmm. She's been talking about it for weeks. Let me guess, you haven't studied. No, I can't. Y'all really wanted me to watch that Stranger Things one? Gotta get out of this. I need a master plan. Plan of all plans. Let's see how you can play. All this energy he's using for his plans and mischief, he could- He's the goat at getting out of it. He could just use it to study. He really is the worst of all time. And he's out. I'm surprised you don't know that. My boy Mikey not here? ankle playing basketball. Damn. For like a whole month. Mikey be hooping? Okay, okay, Mikey. So you mean he doesn't have to do any school? What do you do? Don't. My mom would never question me about having a broken ankle. Just a couple weeks ago, she caught you trying to fake a broken arm. So. Uh, but back then, I was an amateur, you know what I'm saying? Now, bro, she won't suspect the thing. I don't believe it. All this to get out of a test. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, because you know everybody loves it when people steal things. Um, you know I really thought this is a good idea. Uh, Jay, uh, what happened to your ankle? It's broken, Mom. Broken? 
Why didn't anybody call me? They they tried to, but they couldn't get a hold of you, you know? Look, I'm okay, though. I'll be fine. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're not okay. All right. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Go ahead. Okay? It's not as bad as it seems. See? See? Just... Ow! Okay, 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 honey. Don't put any pressure on it, all right? Let's get you to the car. This is man Jay, bro. The boy who cried wolf. Bye, Jay. Seems like that friend hates you, hates you Jay. <laughs> Come in. No, it's crazy. Faking a broken ankle just to get out of a test. Okay. All right. Well, I called Dr. Gonzalez to make an appointment to get some x-rays later. An x-ray? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I need that. You know, I've been drinking my almond milk, you know? I, I'll be fine. No, no, don't worry. Just relax, okay? Keep that ankle elevated. Okay. And I'll call later and check in, okay? Uh, okay. Thanks, Mom. You know, I hate that I have to miss school. It really breaks my heart. Oh, brother. I'm sure it does. Boo-hoo. <laughs> right, well, I gotta go, or I'm gonna be late. This lying-ass kid, right? bro. See ya. Y'all said the white kid sounds zesty AF. Jay, my guy, you Maybe he is, and oh, that's okay. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh. <laughs> Go ahead, Jake. Go ahead, Jake. Go ahead, Jake. Ah, ah. Go ahead, Jake. Oh. Okay, she shocked me. I did not think she was gonna do that. My ankle was healed. Good try, Jay. You knew. Mm-hmm. Now get dressed for school right now, and you better hurry. But mom, I don't want to go to school. I hate that place. Well, sometimes I don't want to go to work. But I still have to. Facts. Well, I'd much rather go to work <laughs> than class. Yeah, you say that now because you- I'm not even lying to y'all. Sometimes I'm like, bro, uh, I got a live stream. Uh, I got to film a video. Uh, not because I don't want to, but it's mainly because like some days you really don't feel like doing anything and that's okay. Whoever convinced humans that we have to work, man, that was, a, that was, a, that was the best trick ever. They tricked us into thinking that if we don't work, we're lazy. Some days you you don't want to work. That doesn't make you lazy. That just makes you want to enjoy life, bro. Not every day do I want to work, and that's completely normal. Can you imagine showing your face on camera every day? It will get a little tiring. Now because you don't have to do it. I don't have to, but like, come on, it's YouTube. You stop posting, your channel dies. This is YouTube, bro. You kind of have to post damn near every day. Don't believe what your brother pulled this time. Fake throw up. That was yesterday. Hmm. Another broken arm. Getting warmer. Broken ankle. Bingo. I can't believe how far he is willing to go to get out of school. Well, you, you don't like school. Hang with that Mikey kid. I mean, when I was young, I hated school too. But now, being an adult, I'd do anything to go back to middle school for a day. Eh. Come on. I wish. If I gotta choose, I would definitely. I would go back to my my junior year of college. Cause that's when I transferred and went to a university because I did my first two years at a community college. Man, bro, my first year at Texas State, it was an adventure. It was an adventure. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Really be an adult. Well. Ooh. You might be onto something. What are you about to con what do you mean? What are we about to do? Come on, Ma. Must we go through this every time? Oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you. Wait, I'm confused. What are they trying to do? Be an adult. No school for a day. Come on. I wish he knew what it was like to really be an adult. Okay, they're going to make him an adult? <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you. I don't know how she's going to make him an adult, but hey. You know, Jay, I have a choice for you. You don't have to go to school if you don't want to. Actually? Wait, are you trying to pull a me on me? No, seriously. If you want to drop out of school, then you just have to be an adult and take on all the responsibilities that come with that, he including going to work with me today. You don't want to take on responsibilities. I guess we can work something out. That's the last thing he wanted to do is Jay. $50 for the day. 200 if, if nurses make bank. $100 and that's my final offer. Deal. Ooh, this is the best day of my life. Nurses do not make bank. Let me have some of that coffee. 
Are you sure? I don't know what y'all consider bank these days, but I'm pretty sure an average salary for a nurse is like. Welcome to being an adult. All right. Like 55, 60K, if I'm not mistaken. Probably a little bit higher. No homework, no class, and no test. Y'all consider 60K a year bank? Maybe. What I define as bank is six figures, minimum. Minimum two. So what are we doing? Should we just hang out in the cafeteria? We're about to start morning meds. Up first, Vivian. She looked like a Vivian. Feisty, so tread lightly. She looked like she want to read your horoscope. Good morning, Vivian. Time for your meds. She played with those tarot cards. Vivian. Walk like an Egyptian. Awake. We do this every morning. Do, 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 do. Are you sure she's not my Do, 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 do. Do, do, Today do, do. is the day of escaping this prison. Hmm. I'm sure it is. You can escape after you take your potassium pill. This is my son Jay. Why are old people I'm never like taking their pills? I'm just gonna check your swallowing, okay? Like, Before I give you your you, you do realize that's keeping you alive? I'll be eager as hell to take my pills. They'd be doing everything but taking their pills. Perfect. Like you don't want potassium? Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh. Would you rather me shove a banana down your throat? I need you to pour a little bit more water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nah, y'all can't be talking about her forehead. This is full of knowledge. That's why I said she look like she like she go. she gonna read your horoscope. There you go. She gonna read your fortune with those tarot cards. <laughs> Today we're gonna get out of here alive. Oh, she's crazy. Okay. Quiet. You don't want the enemy to hear us. The enemy? She really is from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I was just joking. And that's how we're gonna get out of here. She thinks there's enemy stands against her. Are you with me? Yeah, she's crazy, bro. Get get out of the room. She's talking about climbing in the vents, like she's mis mission impossible. She thinks she got a stand. She swallow your pill, okay? She's finna say it's time to break out. Zawudo! <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna freeze. <laughs> Great. She's gonna do the pose and everything. Zawudu! <laughs> She's looking at her like she's crazy. Good job. All right. I'm just gonna update your chart, okay? Now, if you're feeling dizzy, just let Jay know and he'll grab me. Mm. I'll be right back. She's trying to get Jay to to comply with her prison break. Look, Not even in prison, lady. Feel the same way about <laughs> whoa, 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 are you okay? Hey, Wow. They never want to take their pills. I'm gonna start screaming. Okay, okay. All right, Vivian, you're all set. We'll see you later, okay? All right, come on, Jay. Are you having fun yet? Uh, Mom, I got to tell you, she didn't take the Oh, I know. She spits it out when I leave. That's why we sneak into her food so she doesn't know. That's kind of dangerous. What if one day she wants to take the pill? Now she's double dosing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't force her to take it, but it's what I have to go through almost every morning. Okay, okay, she was kidding. It's not very fun, is it? Okay. Oh, well. I was like, you can get in a lot of trouble for that. <laughs> a lot, a lot of trouble. Ooh, I can't do veins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's something I can't do. I can, I can do blood. I just can't do veins. Like the needle going into my vein, that is what bothers me the most. It's not the pain, it's just knowing there's a needle in my body. Why would you smell the piss? Why would you smell it? What did you expect it to smell like, Jay? Come on, bro. You smell some rancid ass piss. You gonna be surprised? Look at Vivian trying to break out. <laughs> she says, now or never. <laughs> Man, Vivian put you on skates. <laughs> You're on her stomach, not. Oh, I would have quit. Did she throw up doo doo? I would have quit right there and then. Screw it, two weeks. I'm quitting right there and then. Right there and then. I don't do bodily fluids being spewed on me. I don't care. I don't care what orifice they're coming out of. Actually, I do care because <laughs> if it wasn't the mouth, the other one's pretty worse. <laughs> uh, this girl, this girl threw up doo-doo, bro. Nah, that must, that must be her liver shot or her kidneys. That's your kidneys, right? 
long day. Huh? Oh, um, no, I was just. You still got that doo doo stain uh, scrub on. Great. You know, adulting is way better than school. Give it up, Jay. Well, what's nice is I get to come home and my work is done. Well, she threw, bi she threw a bile. <laughs> Your work is done. Y'all know what bile is? Oh, you think my work stops when the clock is out. Mm. You gotta wash the dishes. Mm. What do they have for dinner? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, Jay. They have chicken dinner or broccoli? Or is that tuna? What? <laughs> we had a girl at my school. Her name was uh, Tuna Zena. We called her Tuna. Wow. I do all the work around here, and you guys just lay here doing nothing. You worked for one day, bro. Just like mom. Whatever. Can I just get my money and go to bed now? Sure. A smooth hundred dollars. All right. Make sure I hit them with the taxes. Thank you. Hit them with the taxes. Um, didn't we agree on one hundred dollars? Mm-hmm. So why is my money missing thirty? Taxes. Oh, taxes. Ugh! <laughs> it's part of being an adult. Everybody gotta pay them. You don't take taxes out of my allowance. Oh, see, allowances are for kids. I love this lesson she's Adults teaching him, bro. Luxury. This is unbelievable. Y'all said Prince do a story time. Uh, Night. Sweet dreams, little bro. What was the story that I I said in the beginning of this Five, live stream four, that I said three, I'll tell y'all? Whoa! But where's all my stuff? My PS5, my games, my sheets. Where are my sheets? Well, Jay, when you're an adult, you have to pay for housing. Damn, she gonna do him like that? Sleep in this room. Whoa! Have to rent it out. What? Mom, I've been living here for 10 years. This is my room. Sure, it was your room when you were a kid. Oh, she's going to teach him a lesson, but he's going to forget this lesson by the next so video. Sleep <laughs> in this room tonight is $40. For $40? Mm -hmm. But that only leaves me with 30 Ah, that's life. And don't forget to pay utilities. Mm. That's if you want lights on. And, and the internet. <laughs> you need the internet. Get that. I'll just stay in the dark then. Phone bill as well. You want to text your friends? No Wi-Fi. No what? No, now you're taking this too far. Ugh. Man, oh my gosh, this mom is explaining it so well. I know a lot of y'all watching this, y'all are kids, y'all are young, y'all don't understand. But goodness gracious, bills will kick your ass. There is no avoiding them either, like, unless you live with your parents for the rest of time. But, yeah, bills kick your ass. Taxes, they hurt, bro. Imagine making the money that you made by, you know, slaving away at your job, or by working hard, putting in a good, honest day's work. Only for the big, the big bad IRS to say, hey, yo, cough up 30%. It's not the same for everybody, but, you know, for a certain tax bracket, it's 30%, around 30%, sometimes even higher. Can you imagine that? Imagine you make a million dollars, and they say, give me $300,000 right now. Really? They'll say, give me 400 k Really? <laughs> <laughs> Cough it up. <laughs> Give me that money. No, what? Why damn you do no, a damn thing for this money? Uh, how much are utilities? Twenty dollars. Twenty. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. So basically, this means I'm just giving this check right back to you. Yeah, you work for one day, bro. Your bills are paid for the rest of the month. You're. That's actually a good deal. That's actually a super deal. One day's work pays for your bills for the whole month. I hate being an adult. I work for all these hours, get thrown up on me, and then on top of that, that psycho Vivian almost trampled me. Then I get home, have to wash dishes, get scammed by capitalism, and on top of that, I'm broke. Give me that last 20. Try to tell you, Jay. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. Being an adult is just as hard as going to school. If not harder, I'm starting to see that. Who's that hitting up your phone, Ma? Uh, they called me to come in early tomorrow. Okay, okay. All right, well, get some sleep. That was like her little side piece. You know, you know how I be with nurses. Mm -hmm. Yo, nurses are the big nurses. Some okay, I don't want to group all nurses together, bro, because my mom's a nurse. <laughs> Let me say nurses around my age, bro. I promise you, they're the biggest thoughts in the world. 
them, flight attendants, um, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Obviously bottle girls, but like, that's obvious. You know, that goes without saying. If you work, if you work, if your hours are from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., you, you know, not even, t- uh, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., you know, you, you probably have thought it. But bottle girls, flight attendants, uh, nurses especially, I think those are the top three, the top three. Trust me, trust me like that. But yeah, my mom's a nurse, so that's why I say I can't group all of them together. I know you ain't talking about my mom that uh, way. Mom, yes, sir. I think I want to go to school tomorrow, if that's all right. Really? Can you say that again? I just want to record it. Hee <laughs> ha! You got all the jokes today. <laughs> so when can I get my stuff back? Get your stuff back. Oh no, I already sold it. Oh! You did what? Well, you can buy it back. Let's just say fifty bucks. Fifty. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's to fair. Pay for that. In that twenty. You wanted to be an adult. Work for one more day. You can you can afford your stuff Mom. again. Mom, that is not funny. She's giving you. Give my stuff she's back. giving you the discount, homie. You can work yeah. for another day. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Why don't we wanna go to my parents' work and see what they do all day? No, you don't. Trust me, it was awful. I'm just glad it's all over with. You know. Yeah, y'all kids don't have to work. The thing come out of it was I missed yesterday's exam. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, yeah, about that. Morning class. I hope you took advantage of your extra day of studying. What's she talking about? Everyone take a pencil out. Your exam starts in five minutes. Damn, she what? thick as hell. I thought the exam was yesterday. Oh, she was like, exam starts like, in five damn, man, on Jemima? What? I thought the exam was yesterday. Damn, Miss Buttersworth? All right. Yesterday too, so she postponed it today. No. <laughs> that was Kid Becomes a Grown Up for 24 Hours. He lives to regret it. Oh my gosh, I'd be having so much fun. All right, let's go ahead and read some of these comments. Uh, Luigi, thank you so much for that donation. Honestly, I never got to watch the live in time, but since I'm here now, today's my birthday and I wanted to do this. Well, happy birthday, Luigi, you two. Happy birthday, hope you have an amazing birthday. Does having a birthday this close to Christmas suck? Like, do your parents like kind of group your presents together? Like, do you get double the presents or do they just say, this is your birthday slash Christmas present? Like, that would kind of suck. My homie's birthday was yesterday, so he used to tell me they kind of just grouped it together. Black Neon, thank you for, for that dodo. He said, did you know Lavelle is having a baby boy next year? Damn, you having a baby boy? I didn't even know he was married. I mean, he don't got to be married to have a baby boy. We live in a world where you no longer have to be married to have kids. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's like, man. <laughs> Uh, everybody's different. I know I need to be married if I'm going to have kids. All right. We got Chris per- person VR said Prince got that dump. How do you know? I didn't even stand up today yet. Christmas war goes too far with neighbors. What happens next is shocking. This seemed like it was shot like a movie, bro. I can't hear anything. I'm going to have to refresh it. There we go. Let's count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Okay, that's amazing, Eden. I need subtitles. Why is there no subtitles? There we go. I wonder you always win the contest. Three years in a row. Soon to be four. (laughs) Oh, hey, there's Jasmine. They're only auto. Okay, sure. All right, we're gonna have to work with uh, these kind of captions. You could just go over there. Are you kidding? I can't be seen fraternizing with the enemy. Mm. (laughs) Jasmine, don't you think you've been a little dramatic? Don't gaslight me, Shane. You know she's always trying to one up me. Why do girls love that word, bro? Women love that word, gaslight. I swear, they discovered the word gaslight. And they never let it go, bro. They have never let that go. Every, every, every girl think you gas, you gaslighting them. You been a little dramatic. When the whole time, yo ass is the crazy one. You're just simply crazy. I'm not gaslighting you. You're just crazy. Damn, is that gaslighting? <laughs> Don't gaslight me, Shane. You know, she's always trying to one- You see his face? Like, he's like, when damn woman. You just heard that word on Oprah. Get a brand new Porsche. 
And when we went to Hawaii, two weeks later, she was in Bora Bora. That could just be a coincidence. Oh, please. You know what, you just, you're a man. You don't get it. We don't get it, and that's a good thing. Here, thanks. Because if we did get it, now both of us are acting stupid. It's Hello. better than hey. just, better than just one of us oh, acting hi, stupid. Hi, Eden, hi. What do I think about what? <laughs> like Christmas lights. Nah. I'm not going to lie, though. She is definitely doing it purposely. The way she just had that big old grit, grin on her face when she walked over to ask her how did she feel about her lights, she is 100% doing this purposely. She is 100% trying to stunt. She is she is 100% her op. Like, the little the little micro trans, uh, transactions that people be having between each other can tell you so much. Their body language, all of it. She is definitely an op. She's definitely an op, guys. Like, watch out for her, bro. <clears throat> it's silly. Oh, it's not in her that? head. Like uh, <laughs> she really does try to uh, one up her. They're cute, please. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's cute and all. <laughs> oh, why women are? Why women hate each other the most, it's bro? <laughs> a Christmas tree or a house plant? It's a tree. Mm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. You see, you see. <laughs> Those little jabs. <laughs> I guess I'll get back to decorating since my house is just nice. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. Like men will never do this. If a guy doesn't like you, we would not put up with this fake conversation, bro. We would not. But girls, they do it Wait, every day. We're returning it. I've decided. We're entering the Christmas decorations contest this year. You let her get to you. You let her get to you, bro. Decorations are expensive, and we still haven't gotten you. let her get to you. Figure it out, Shane. All I know is, I'm not letting Eden outshine me any more. Mmm, rent free. She lives in your head, rent free. Both of y'all's head. Y'all both hate each other. Golly. All right. Jasmine, what? Ta-da! It's a display tree. I don't know why her I husband. Can't believe I talked them into letting me buy it. This reminds oh, me a little Jasmine, bit of Dak like Prescott. Like yeah, no, never mind. Jasmine, good thing we have high. Doesn't it look like the Rockefeller tree in New York? Jasmine. Okay, she can sing. Okay. I mean, I'm even more attracted to you now. In New York. Um. No, I took vocal lessons as a kid. <laughs> There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Jasmine, how much? Oh, it wasn't that bad. It was five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for a Christmas tree and ornaments. I had to, Shane. You're a sucker. And I can't wait to see Eden's face. You did all this to rub it in Eden's face. She's imagining it now. Don't worry. Listen. The winner of the contest gets one thousand dollars. Still not so worth as long it. As we win, we'll be able to just. Wow, is that our tree? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. I want to help decorate it. I'll go get the Harry Potter ornaments from the garage. Hey, honey, no, we're not using those this year. I'm just gonna decorate this time, okay? But we always do it together. I know, but just not this year. I'm. She sorry. said it's competition time. But you can watch if you want. Hey, Vaughn, <laughs> did you write your letter to Santa yet? Well, you get some pen and paper and we're gonna get that started. You need to ask Santa for some eyebrows. Get some pen and... Hey, Vaughn, <laughs> did you write your letter to Santa yet? <laughs> well, you get some pen and I need to stop making fun of kids, bro. Okay. It's not funny, it's not funny. Like, keep it adults, friends, just adults. Kids, really don't make fun of them. I'm sorry. Over some silly robbery you have eaten. It's I apologize. It's silly, Shane. Look, there are plenty of other things that we can do together. But my tree has to be perfect. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna I apologize. Nice list and not the naughty list so you can get what you want. I'm always on the nice list. Are you that? Man, look like Burley. <laughs> but I'm a nice list. <laughs> what about you, Mom? 
Um, <laughs> well, no, I need to stop, bro. That's not funny. Not or nice. Definitely nice. Yes. <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way. Rude. <laughs> nah, he's right though. He's he's right though. This mom is going way too far just to rub it in her neighbor's face. Like y'all are having a Christmas war. That's what the title literally is. Did I read the title? Eden. Christmas war goes too far with neighbors. What happens next is so is shocking. Okay. Jasmine. <laughs> Nice onesie. Thanks. <laughs> Please, come in. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, Shane. <sighs> mm. Mm. Smells good. Thanks. Hey, a compliment. <laughs> I was just baking Christmas cookies. Mm. <laughs> I love doing that around the hallway. The fakeness in the air, bro. <laughs> Look at the husband. He's just like, I can't so, believe this. Uh, you said you needed to give me something? Yes. Yes, I remembered. I borrowed some sugar from She just wants her to see the tree, I think. So, I never gave it back here. Oh, Jasmine. <laughs> that was like three years ago. Well, better late than never, right? Yeah. The fakeness, bro. The fakeness. So. Nah. Think. <laughs> Goofball, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mystery. She finna, she finna <laughs> clear her ass. It's um, it's um. Ooh. Nice. Ah! <laughs> she hit you with your own words. Oh. I better be off now. Is that a Michael Kors bag? Oh, she she gonna get on your bag too? Yeah. Oh no. Why? No reason. Oh no! Oh. It's war. This means war. <laughs> This means war, bro. Cause like these these little micro arguments that they're having, these backhanded compliments. Oh, it's nice. That's the worst backhanded compliment you can give somebody. Just like when a girl is asked how a guy looks and she responds, I mean, he's cute and all. Like, you're probably not cute, bro. She's probably doesn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Is it really lagging? No, nah, y'all are just y'all are just uh uh y'all are just um dicking around. Cue for the sugar. All right. And I will talk to you later. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, I'll be joining you for the contest this year. Woo! <laughs> really? Yes. Oh well, that's interesting. <laughs> but you know what? Mm -hmm. It'll take more than just a nice tree to win. Mm. Good luck. A nice tree. A nice tree. That's cold. Bro, it is not lagging. It is not really? cutting out. So, like, I'm not falling for it. In here if yeah, you can't hear, then clean your ear racks at your ears, bro. No, oh, trust me. She's shaking in her. Am I tripping or oh, does he like. Oh, trust me. Does he just a little bit remind you of Dak Prescott? Just a little bit. Or am I tripping? I may just be tripping. I think I am tripping. Just a little bit. Because I met Dak, Dak Prescott in person, bro. He's my height. He's. He, I'm a little. You know, he's bigger than me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he's bigger than me. But he is my height, though. She's shaking in her boots. It's not lagging. Now? Oh, new outfit? We really gotta step our game up. Mm. What about the cookies? All right. Is there really lag? Beyond so oh. Is there lag? All right, I'm gonna ask this one and one time only. For all of my moderators watching right now, I trust y'all with all my heart. Is it lagging? I'm gonna I'm only gonna look at the moderators' answers. Is it lagging? 
I want y'all to be honest with me. You're a moderator. Your job is to be honest with me and make my job easier. So let me know. Moderators only. Is it lagging? It's not lagging. So it's, it's, it's not lagging. Because I saw a lot of you moderators earlier saying it was lagging. And now y'all are changing your answer. It's not lagging. I think it's because you knew I was going to take away, take away your mods. Because <laughs> I was like, if you're going to lie to me as a mod, you don't deserve to be a mod. All right, we'll run it back a bit. I don't know when it started lagging, but I'll go ahead and run it back all the way until when this fake-ass neighbor came. Eden. Yes, man. <laughs> Is that better? Nice one, baby. Thanks. <laughs> Please, come in. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, Shane. Mmm. <sighs> mm. Smells good. Thanks. <laughs> I was just baking Christmas cookies. Mm. <laughs> I love doing I'll make sure you got that chapstick. Holidays, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you said you needed to give me something? Yes. Yes, I remembered. I borrowed some sugar from you when we first moved in. So just want her to get a CEO tree this whole Here. time, oh, bro. <laughs> that was like three years ago. Well, better late than never, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, about what? My Christmas tree, you goofy. <laughs> Goofball, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas yes. tree. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's, um. It's, um, uh, <laughs> The same words that she used, bro. Oh. This is a moment where, like, you know, in their head bag? that they're fighting each other. Yeah. And she said, you got a Michael's Why? Kors bag. You broke, you broke, <laughs> you broke -y. No reason. <laughs> so... Thank you for the sugar. She got, what is that, I Chanel? Talk to you later. All right, talk That's to you. Chanel, right? So Chanel's better than Michael Kors. Uh, by the okay. Way, I don't know purses. I'll be joining you for the contest this year. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> but you know what? Mm -hmm. It'll take more than just a nice tree to win. Mm. But good luck. She cleared you. You invited her to your house. You invited her to your house, and she still managed to clear your ass. And leave with a bag of sugar. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> really? Sugar. I had to get her in here somehow. Did it work for you? She didn't seem that impressed. Oh, 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 trust me. She's shaking in her boots. But now? Quick ass outfit change. Okay, baddie. Okay, baddie. We Betty. <laughs> Where are you? You're taking this way too far, lady. You need to drop it. What about the cookies? Oh, hungry ass. He just care about cookies. <laughs> you suck, bro. How are you gonna let cookies burn? That's one of the easiest things to make. That's your fault. Are they ready yet? How do you burn cookies? You literally leave it in the oven for like 15 oh, minutes, dude. They're burnt. It takes 15 minutes Where's to make mom? cookies. <laughs> she said she was making me cookies, but I can't eat these. Can she make them again? Oh, I'm sorry, Glenn. Mom had to leave. Does that not look a little like Dak Prescott to you? What if? Hold on. Am I tripping? I think I'm tripping. Yeah, I think I may just be tripping, bro. This 
Just a little bit? A little bit? I don't know. Yeah, I, I may be tripping. I may be tripping. I may be tripping. He just gets, he just looks a little like Dak Prescott to me. Yeah. He looks like Dak with hair, you know? Right, yes. I also like uh, three inflatable snowmen, uh, six reindeer, and do you have any large inflatable Christmas trees? Um, let me check. Okay. Large inflatable Christmas. Oh, for outside. Okay, got you, got you. Here come Dak. <clears throat> Luckily, your mom was able to watch Glenn. How'd you forget your credit card? Oh, I didn't. I was just worried I'd go over, so I wanted the other card too. <laughs> <laughs> All to beat a woman at a Christmas decoration. No, please don't tell me you're buying all of this. Have you seen Eden's house? Who cares? Let her outdo me. Let her outdo this you. hundred bucks. You can't afford all this. And you still have to buy Glenn's presents. Look, I'm going to return this stuff after we win, okay? Okay, fair but enough. This is tomorrow. Christmas Eve is the day after. We'll still have time to use the prize money to get Glenn whatever he asked Santa for. I've got this all figured out. That's if you win, though. Like, what if you don't win? That definitely looks like Dak. I don't care what none of y'all say. So we're not going to have any decorations up for Christmas? This, all this is just for the competition. Mm-hmm. Glenn's not very happy, though. You promised him you'd make him some cookies. Then you forgot about him and let him burn. It's like you were just doing this in press eating. I mean, okay. you could have you could have checked on the cookies. Right now. This competition is. He'll be all right. She don't got to make the cookies. You could have checked on Christmas them. It takes 15 minutes to make cookies. It's about spending time with the people you love. This whole thing you have eaten is it's making you forget about what matters most. Good news. We have the snowman and the giant inflatable Christmas tree that you wanted. Just not the reindeer. Oh. But everything is up front for you waiting. OK, great. Anything else you need? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> she gotta be her. Look at you. No, she has to be her. Uh, sorry. She I'm has to be her. <laughs> another card. <laughs> sure. That's insane. She is going to war with this woman, bro. What's her name, Rebecca? I don't even remember her name, bro. You're doing all this to win a decoration war against your neighbor. Hey, sweetheart. That's okay insane. Mom, can you just give us another hour or so? That's what you said two hours ago. Remember, I have bingo. Okay, my headphones have died. My headphones have died. So I think it'll be fun if I finish up. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? While we wait for my headphones to charge. That'll be a little fun, right? My headphones last exactly three hours. Story time. Nah, I want to finish up that test because y'all have me feeling stupid out here. Are you smarter than a fifth grader test? We're going to do a different test this time. We're going to do BuzzFeed. Nah, I hate BuzzFeed. <laughs> I hate BuzzFeed, bro. All right. Uh, Quiz Grizzly. It's pretty It's pretty new. All right. Y'all, 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 y'all. Gonna put respect on my name this time, yeah? Yeah? Or you want a story time? You almost called another girl name in bed story time. Oh, I did say I'll tell y'all that. Okay, it wasn't, I didn't almost, I literally did say another girl's name. I mean, it's not that much of a story, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell it anyways, but, um, yeah, um, we were doing the bu the business, the business. Um, <laughs> I said a different girl's name. <laughs> I still to this day don't know how I was able to get away with it. It's a very this is a very short story. I don't know how I was able to get away with it, but either she didn't hear me, she heard me and she didn't care, or she heard me, cared, kept it to herself, and thought that like maybe she can beat her. If that makes any sense. Story's over. That's it. <laughs> now to the test. Now to the test. Because y'all over here calling me dumb. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. All right. 
For someone older than 10 years, how many times per minute does an average heartbeat? A fifth grader doesn't know this? How the hell? Okay, for someone older than 10 years, how many times per minute does an average heart beat? I'll say around 70 if you're not doing any exercise, right? Oh, yeah, that's easy. Duh. What bones protect your heart? Your rib cage? There you go. Y'all ain't gonna call me dumb, bro. What does your cardiovascular system do? Pump blood throughout your body and oxygen. Boom. A perfect score so far. Come on. All right. What is, what is the closest star to Earth? The sun. Why are y'all giving me pictures, man? You're making it too easy. The moon casts a shadow on Earth during the lunar eclipse. Yeah, because solar eclipse is when... Uh, wait, hold on. The moon casts a shadow on Earth during the lunar eclipse. No, the solar eclipse is when... Oh, shit. The moon casts a shadow on Earth. A solar eclipse is when the sun is gone and is being blocked by the moon. What is a lunar eclipse? This question is confusing. The moon casts a shadow on Earth during the... So it can't be solar eclipse because in order to have a shadow, don't you need a light source behind it? And if the moon is completely blocking the sun, there is no shadow. I don't know. I'm going to go with lunar eclipse. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That was, a little, that was a little dumb of me. The moon causes tides. The gravitational pull. I knew that. What attaches but ligaments or tendons, 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 not ligaments. I think ligaments is what is what connects bones to other bones, right? Uh, tendons is what attaches muscles to bones. I think ligaments is for bone. I, I, I think so. What part of our bodies make blood red blood cells? Our uh, bone marrow does. What kind of creature is found at the top of the food train? Apex predator. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. What is the greenhouse effect? Uh, when gases are 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 released into the Earth's atmosphere, which heats up the Earth because it blocks. Because it, uh, it it absorbs more sunlight. Yes. Gases are trapped in the Earth's atmosphere and warm Earth. Yeah, warm it. Boom. Boom. What causes disease? Bacteria, right? Or pathogen. Pathogen. That sounds smarter. Because bacteria causes bacterial infections. Viruses causes viruses, you know. So a disease is... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We know pathogen, right? A pathogen is anything that is foreign to the body, right? So technically a bacteria is a pathogen if it's not originated in the body, right? I think so. I think so. I'm going to go with pathogen. A pathogen is a microorganism that has the potential to cause disease such as... What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? A pathogen is... A bacteria is a pathogen. Ugh! Ugh! I told you I got a big brain. And really, the solar and lunar eclipse one, that was a trick question. A blank organism is an organism with only one cell. Uni. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You almost got me. You almost got me there. A unicellular? That doesn't even sound like a word. Planktonian? I do know what plankton is, but I don't think they only have one cell. Do they? I'm going to go with uni because we all know uni means one. It's either that or plankton. Okay, I was right. Boom, baby. Charles Darwin came up with the theory of evolution. What is extinction when a species has no living members? Correct. What is a force that occurs when one object rubs against another? Friction. Condensation is when... Uh, is when a gas changes into a liquid. Yes. Yes, a gas changes into a liquid. Boom, baby. The three types of pulley systems are fixed, movable, and... <laughs> okay, I don't know this one. I kind of slept in physics class. This is an easy one, though. 
My my friend will be rolling around his no, he's not, not in his grave. He's not dead. It will be rolling around in his I don't know his Timberlands. He's probably wearing Timberlands right now. Fixed. That means it's not moving. Movable. That means it moves. And immovable. No transferable. Compound. I'll go ahead and say compound. Ah! Process of elimination. Which of these helps an animal protect itself from predators? Camouflage, yes. Food, no. Fire, no. Migration, maybe. But you're always going to meet another predator. So camouflage. Yes, sir. A blanks is a small cell that grows in a new plant. A blank is a small cell that grows into in a new into a new plant. Oh, uh, 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 a small cell that grows into a new plant. A spore? Because a leaf is not a small cell. A stem is not a small cell. Flower, not a small cell. A spore? Let's go! Let's go! What kind of animals lay eggs, breathe air, and usually have scales? Reptiles. Because mammals do not lay eggs except for the platypus. Ducks are, um, I don't know what the duck, hell ducks are, but they lay eggs. But they're not a, they're, they're, they're not a species of, I mean, you know what I mean. They're, they're, it's not broad enough. Insects. I don't think insects lay eggs, do they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Do insects lay eggs? Yes. Yes, they do. No. No, it's just larva, right? It's larva. Is larva the same as an egg? I don't think so. They lay larva. But it's reptiles. Big money! Big money! Ugh! We already know what I got. 95%. And the only reason why I got the other one wrong was because that question was confusing. <laughs> Big money. Don't ever call me dumb again. I went to college. I graduated. Do you know, do you, are you smarter than Prince Charming? Somebody needs to make a quiz about that. Watch all y'all fail. <laughs> all right, let me, <laughs> let me get my headphones back. Let me get my headphones back. Let me get my headphones back. <clears throat> and let's finish up this very exciting video. Ooh. Whew. Let's see how this war between neighbors end. Y'all think it's going to end on a happy note, or do you think it's going to end with chaos? Chaos. All right, let's run it back a little bit. So last where we left off, she saw her, ne her neighbor at the mall, you know, shopping for stuff for her Christmas decorations. She was just about to give it up, but then she saw her. She said, no, I got to go extra hard. Bring me another cart. So she's spending all of her money, prepared to go broke, not be able to buy their it's son Christmas hard. gifts okay because she wants to one-up her neighbor. Mom, can you just give us another hour or so? That's what you got Dak Prescott over here hanging Remember, up lights. I have bingo, and I don't want to be late. It's fine. <laughs> we need a break anyway. Old people never want to be so late. Much. Bingo can wait. What's the big deal if you just miss it this one time? because it only happens once a month, all right? And tonight there's a live band playing and hot cocoa. It's fine. I've never just been to bingo. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Is it not just out. gambling and I'm you call out bingo when you win? Watch it, with them soon. it must be peaceful being an old person. All you have to look forward to is bingo and death. Oh gosh, that's kind of dark. They're what still out inside? there? Hell's no. Done, honey. We're almost done. That's what you've been saying. Let's go put another movie on, okay? We'll be there in a minute. <sighs> I've already Damn, watched Dak. Grinch and Elf. I'm tired of watching movies. And I'm hungry. Okay, you want a pizza? Jasmine. I can order you a pizza. Jasmine, come on. This is getting out of hand. We, we've been here all day. Let's just take a break and come back. No, I can't stop now. There's so much left to do still. And the judges will be here tomorrow. You're letting your neighbor live in your head rent free. Woo! Go ahead and be a father. I'm so starving. Let's just go inside and eat, please. You go on ahead. I'm going to keep working. Come on, come on. <laughs> Let's go get some to eat. What are you hungry for? Hmm, cheeseburger. Ooh, I was thinking pizza, but cheeseburger sounds good too. Ah, <laughs> uh, the American diet is either pizza or cheeseburger. 
Do you feel like I feel like other countries just look at the stuff that we eat and just like just cringe? Because <laughs> the most insane thing that I came to realize is American appetizers, like when you go to a restaurant, you order an appetizer, they be damn near just as big as the main courses for other countries. Just the appetizer. Americans can eat, bro. We are, we are some fat asses. You know what? You know what? I want to see the world. Here, here, here your 50 go. What kind of dream she having? Uh, it is almost 6 o'clock. Mm, I want to have that dream before. you having. You looking. P.M.? Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The judges will be here any minute. Are you going to play with us? No, no, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I got to get ready before the judges. This camera work. Okay, Darman. You improving. Shoot. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Ooh, them vocals! Oh, your home looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you mind turning the outside lights on so we can take a photo for the contest? I don't know how I feel about strangers <laughs> judging my home, bro. Come on, guys. Let's go! I don't care if you're gonna give me a thousand dollars. That is Dak Prescott's son. Y'all cannot tell me. That's his brother or something. <sighs> so what do you guys think? It's nice. It's just a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe he stayed up all night doing this. Uh, we were pleasantly surprised you guys decided to join this year. Yes, everyone's been very excited to see how it all looks like. Lit up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get lit. You're too excited about your job, homie. <laughs> oh, and uh, how about we all count it down? Okay, you ready? And five, three. Okay, four, start from five. Three, you could have told two, me. That no, looks silly. He starts from five. Ah, eh, some people do. That is, that's nice. That's nice. But I want to see how the neighbor's looking as well. Yeah, she did the thing with this one. It's looking pretty spiffy, okay? But how did the neighbor do? Oh, oh, oh. That's embarrassing. I was gonna check the breaker. No, no, no. That's embarrassing. They say you didn't pay your light bill. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's it's okay. I'm sure the power will come back on just a second. You didn't pay your electricity bill. Yeah, no luck. We tried everything. Maybe we overwhelmed the system. No, no. Oh, that's no. embarrassing. What is this? I happening? bet your neighbor still has power. <laughs> I spent so so much time and money. Well, th th that's all right. It, it it was beautiful while it lasted. <laughs> while it lasted. No. But hopefully you get your power back on. No, 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 but I will. Sir, hey, hey, let me talk to you. No, that was embarrassing. They want to leave immediately. I'm oh sure. my gosh, let's get out of here. <laughs> this woman is poor. I heard Goodman's voice. Ew! Poor! <laughs> and then Santa want to take a dip? Okay. See, I would have stomped that Santa in. Out of all things to go wrong, you want to go wrong too? I took that personally. You ain't gonna show us the neighbors? I mean, we did see it in the really? beginning, but. Literally. Don't be too hard on yourself. You didn't know the power was gonna go off. I feel like a bad person. Over decorations? Horrible. You're not a bad person. There'll be other days. Horrible, <laughs> I let this competition with Eden destroy Christmas. You know, yeah, you did. turn everything. And Glenn opens up his presents. He'll forget about everything. What would be hilarious is they don't let you uh, uh, return it. They will, but like, what if they just told so you no? You what he wants yet? What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, not yet, but we can do it together when we get back. All right, um, let me get the rest of the stuff. Such a good husband. Stuck by his wife's craziness. The whole, the whole shebang. And here she comes. What do you, what do you need, what do you need to say? Christmas decorations down before Christmas? Not right now, Aiden. I don't need you rubbing anything in my face. The girl's name is Aiden? That's what weird. do you mean? I just... I just came to congratulate you. Did she win? What are you talking about? You didn't see this? You oh! won! Oh! Flex! Slay, girl, you won! Ugh! How? How did... They probably wanted some more uh, multicultural. 
<laughs> in their... I know. I heard what happened. <laughs> but apparently your lights were up long enough for the judges to get a picture. And that's all they needed. Wow, she actually won. Big but dubs. Big word. dubs, bro. Well, you didn't. You won. So congratulations on winning $1,000. <laughs> you see, like, even she's being the bigger person. Even she has to take your moment away from you. Like, ain't no sassy remark. She just became the bigger person. Like, damn, you can't, you can't like, let me have anything. You beat me to everything. You beat me to being the better person. Aiden can't let her have anything, man. <laughs> you really just came over to tell me this? Oh, yeah. Why? I don't know. Because you hate me? I don't hate you. You, you sure act like it, though. Truth be told. Just a little envious of you. Envious of me. <laughs> You're the one with the nicer car and the designer bags. And who takes all those fancy trips? We're all jealous of somebody else. Ain't, ain't that crazy? We all want somebody else's life. Even the person's life that we want, they want someone else's life. Are humans ever going to be satisfied with what they have? <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> Why in the world would you be envious? That's of crazy, man. We all want someone else's life. Are you kidding? Trayvon, yeah, one more comment. Like Bro, how, why are my mods spamming the most? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mod a lot of y'all. Why are y'all the main ones spamming? Trayvon, GG's, bro. No more mod for you, bro. No, I'll give you one more chance. I'll give you one more chance. Oh, I'll probably be single the rest of my life. Ooh. And do you know how lonely? I gotta run that back. Are you kidding? You seem like you have the perfect life. So she's not married. A I didn't know that. that adores you. She don't got no husband. A son that loves you dearly. No kids. Ain't nobody playing with her box, bro. You guys are the perfect family. No wonder she's envious. But me on the other. I'll be a little envious too. Not because I want somebody to play with my box. Oh my gosh. I should never I should never pause and talk. Oh, I'll probably be single the rest of my life. I don't have a Do box. You know how lonely it is. <sighs> Spending Christmas. This is why I hate life. live streaming, man. You can't take back what you say. I wish I had your life. We all want somebody else's life. Hi, Eden. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you all. This should be the last of it. Hey Shane. I just came over to congratulate you guys. Wow, now don't you feel silly for creating this fight between y'all. Congratulations. Don't you women feel silly. <laughs> what? A thousand dollars! Yes! What are you gonna buy your son with that? A PS6? Talk about highs and lows. Sheesh. <laughs> what a crazy 24 hours we got. Yeah. They ain't not gonna let you return well, that, are they? We'll return all this. We'll get Glenn all the gifts he wants. Yeah. Then, I don't know, maybe have a little something for us, too. They gonna give you store I credit. I thought we weren't doing gifts for each other this year. I know, I know, but that was before we won a thousand dollars. Next, please. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm returning all this. <laughs> Here you go. I'm sorry. Holiday decorations are final sale. Woo, that's what I was thinking. That is exactly what I was thinking, like, because if you think about it, wouldn't most people do that, buy decorations, use it for Christmas, and then just return it the next day? Because you only need it for, like, you don't need it for one day. You need it for all the days up until Christmas. Once Christmas is done with, yes, you can still have your Christmas tree out. Yes, you can still have your Christmas decorations out. But once it hits January, like, ain't no decorations. Like, it's a whole ass new year. So I can see how that's, like, a policy because a lot of people would actually do that. <laughs> yeah, it's Dak Pre Prescott. <laughs> no one told us that. <sighs> Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, okay. If okay. you create a big All enough right. ruckus, you, you they'll let chance. you return it. We have to. 
Return this stuff. If you complain Return enough, they'll let you. $1,500. There are signs posted all over the store. I'm sorry, ma'am. If you make a big enough fuss, no, they'll let no, you do it. No, okay. Trust me, Karen's know yeah. that rule. Karen's always get their returns. <laughs> Woo! Fifteen hundred dollars wasted. Not a single present. Don't think about that. He's a good kid. Yeah. But he's still a kid, though. He's gonna feel some sort of way that he spent fifteen hundred on decorations and got him squat diddly. Oh, hey, hey, how'd it go? Good. Grandma made me pancakes in the shape of Christmas trees. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching him. Oh, you don't have to thank me. I love watching him, especially when I don't have to miss Bingo. <laughs> Is everything okay? I thought you were happy you won the contest. I was. I was. Uh... Yeah, I am. It's just that, um... Yeah, bro. $1,500 got y'all in debt that bad? I have a little bad news for you. Um, we're, um... We're broke! <laughs> Santa... <laughs> um... He, he wasn't able to get you what you wanted this year. I don't understand. You don't still believe in Santa, do you? I thought I was on the likes list. Ah, he do. You are. It's just, he... Hey, I need y'all to answer right now. At what age did you stop believing in that Santa fairy tale? Me personally, I never believed in Santa, mainly because I never got presents. So it's kind of hard to believe in Santa and not receive presents because like you can't have one without the other. Like I didn't even get Cole either. So like either Santa didn't exist or I'm literally on neither of Santa's naughty or nice lists. He just forgot about me. I'm an unwanted, but yeah. Y'all are saying two, five, eight, ten? Ten years old? It took you until ten to realize Santa's not real? Bruh. Golly. Ten years uh, old? That's old as hell. It's just he. There are no presents. No, nah, if I was naughty, I would have got sorry. cold. I got nothing. No, I feel I feel terrible me. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. I know you want some money I during bingo. Ask for any presents. Ooh. What do you mean? What'd you ask Santa for? Oh, this is a sweet kid. I feel bad for making fun of you earlier. I have everything I want this year. Wow. I have everything I want this year. Wow. All I want is to spend time with my mom and dad. I love them so much. No, nah, that's a good kid right there, man. I love Glenn. That's a good kid right there. I like Glenn. <laughs> I like you, Glenn. That's a good kid right there. I will spend time. Savannah, he's a good man. <laughs> he's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> Can you make me Christmas cookies? He's a good man, Savannah. I'll go stop the oven. And dad, can we play another game of Monopoly yeah. with a grandma too? Oh, yeah, she can wow, such a simple kid. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You're right, you know. He's a good man, Savannah. Spending time with the people. He's a good know. man. <laughs> I guess I was the only one that forgot that. <laughs> bring it in. No, oh, bring it in. <laughs> Make some food. <laughs> All right. Who could that be? Oh, Is that the neighbor? Aiden? You want to join in? Hey, Eden. Hey. Eden is her so name. I figured I'd put that sugar to good use and make you some cookies. Oh, that was so sweet. Am I the only one that so doesn't much. care for sugar You're cookies? Welcome. It's chocolate chip or nothing. Take care. Okay. <laughs> invite her in. Invite her in. Come on. She has no family. Did you want to come in? Yeah, she has no family. She's about to play Monopoly. Um, hey, I always say you don't have to get married so soon, yada, yada, yada. But, bro, the last thing I want to be is in my 40s and unmarried. Because, damn, I'm just going to look at all my friends who have families, and I'm going to feel some type well, of way, 100%. Under one condition. Can I be the race car? How about the symbol? <laughs> the doggy. 
All right, all right. You can be the race car. <laughs> Ah, oh, what a, what an amazing ending! That's that was a good kid right there. I was not expecting that from the kid. From the amount of Santa, he's real. Looking ass. All right. <laughs> is this the is this the Stranger Things video y'all want me to watch? Nerd fights Mean Girl in Upside Down. It looks like it looks like he went all out with the budget. Okay, okay, darn man. Okay, darn man. All right, but um, I'm gonna let me go ahead and read these uh, donations because y'all have been so kind to me. All y'all lying about lag, 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 blah, 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 blah. Bluebird said the other kid should give him some of his eyebrows, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See, now I feel bad for making fun of their eyebrows because like they're kids, man. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be doing stuff like that. I apologize. I hope I didn't offend anybody. They're just jokes, guys. You gotta realize that. King Showtime, thank you so much for those donations. I don't know if it really was lagging or not, but I'm getting a lot of people donating money to tell me it was lagging. I don't think you'll waste your money to lie to me. You know what? Don't think that, Prince. Never, never not think that. Trolls have no limit. Thomas Burns, thank you so much for that dollar twenty-eight. What a weird amount! <laughs> he donated a dollar and twenty-eight cents. <laughs> That's such a weird amount, bro. Silver Ninja, thank you so much for being a member for eighteen months. Eighteen months in. Thanks for the journey, Prince. Hey, man, thank you for being on the journey with us, with us, not just me, with us. Once you join as a member, you're part of Charming Gang. Ah, Charming Squad. Yo, was, yo, was good, Charming Squad, Charming Gang. What do I say in the intro of my video? Do I say Charming Gang? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, King Showtime, thank you so much for that dono. Project Playtime, is that a video game? Don't know what that is. Big D, thank you so much for that dono. Can you say Andre has no dad? By the way, Ice Spice is mine. Bro, I'll fight you for Ice Spice. Ice Spice is mine. But yeah, Andre has no dad. There you go. I hope you clip that and send that to Andre. <laughs> I don't know why, but go ahead and do your thing with Andre. Uh... Bluebird said, hot take. The Grinch is better than the elf. I agree 100%, mainly because I never watched the elf movie and it kind of looks cringe to me. The, the Grinch wasn't cringe. It was genuinely funny. I like the Grinch. Uh, who's the actor who played the Grinch? Um, Y'all know who it is. He was in the Sonic movie. Y'all know who played the Grinch. The LMC, thank you so much for that dono. Please watch Stranger Things Darman movie, please. It's all I want for Christmas. Also, my mom told me, but to be fair, I had a talk that I was adopted. One, yo, you, whoa, you're adopt. That's a lot of information to just dump on you, bro. I mean, I guess as long as you're loved, it doesn't matter if you're adopted. <laughs> Abyss, Jim Carrey, thank you. Thank you. Jim Carrey's his name. Thank you. Like, I love turning to y'all when I forget a word, bro. I don't know if this is just me getting older, but I'm, I'm starting to forget more words. <laughs> like, I didn't know the word orientation. I said it started with an I. I couldn't think of it. I was like, what am I thinking of? I think it starts with an I, and thank God my boy said it for me, bro. Jim Carrey, thank you. Uh, but yeah, Abyss Ray, thanks so much for that dono. He said, thanks, Prince, for all of your content. Of course, man. Thank you for watching me. There would be no content if I didn't have an audience. So appreciate y'all even more. And LMC said, to finish my comment, because it got messed up, I was adopted. So Santa not being real didn't hit me harder than being told I'm adopted. Damn. I don't know. If I ever adopted a kid, I would tell him. I would tell him. For sure. I would tell him. I'll probably tell him early on, too. I wouldn't wait a while. I'll tell him, like, around, like, age seven or eight. Probably even earlier than that. I'll make sure he knows he's adopted. Not because, like, I want him to feel less loved but because I don't want him to feel like I was hiding anything from him. And I want to prove that just because you're not genetically mine doesn't mean I, I, I'm going to love you even less. That's how I view it. I don't see anything wrong with being told you're adopted unless they hid it from you your whole life. And like, they tell you when you're like 19, 20, then that's like, that's like kind of cold hearted. Like if you're going to wait that long, just never tell me, bro. But yeah, I would tell my kids uh, younger if I am to adopt, but yeah. That was the Christmas Darman live stream, guys. I'm gonna have to cut the video off here. It's been three hours and 40 minutes. Do not worry. Do not worry. I will watch the Darman live stream, uh, Stranger Things live uh, video. I will do a live stream on Darman. It'll probably either be in two days or in one week. That's the time span. Cause I have a lot of live streams I need to get off. I need to do a lot of live streams, bro. But do not worry. I will watch that video. 
Trust me, I will. The next Darby and live stream, I'll start it off with that video. I promise you that. But yeah, that was it for this live stream. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe, share this live stream with a friend if you, you know, even had one laugh from it. You know, I think I'm pretty funny sometimes, but maybe uh, you beg to differ. But thank you to everybody who donated, who supported your boy. It's about time for me to log off, but don't go too far. An SML video is about to drop. Give me about 30 minutes and you'll see a new SML video on your timeline for you to watch before you go to bed. Good men's life. The life of good men. This is going to be hilarious. But yeah, without further ado, that was it for this live stream. It's your boy, Prince of Hawkum. Huh, stay charmed, my friends. I never know how to end off a live stream, so I usually just say, huh. I'm going to make that a tradition. <laughs> Sound like E40. Ha, ha, ha.